<laughs> Too late. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to our D&D game for Extra Life. It is 8 p.m. in Madison, Wisconsin. I am Chris Perkins, your Dungeon Master, and I am here with an illustrious group of doomed player characters. <laughs> uh, we are running an adventure that was written for this event. It's called The Lost Laboratory of Qualish. And uh, the characters have been created with input <laughs> from generous donors who gave money to grant certain boons and abilities to the crew. And I'm going to give everybody at the table a chance to talk, to introduce themselves, and to also introduce their characters so that everybody <laughs> knows who's playing. Uh, I, as the Dungeon Master, wanted to run this adventure as faithfully as possible. <laughs> However, I too received donations, <laughs> <laughs> which thrust upon me some narrative changes. <laughs> so I want to apologize in advance to the designers of the adventure. I am not running it as it was written. <laughs> and I want to apologize to the audience. This is going to make no narrative sense. <laughs> 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 uh, can confirm. <laughs> so uh, let's start closest to me and then move down the table. Please tell us who you are and what you have brought to the table in terms of your character this evening. Uh, hi, I'm Peter V. Brett. I'm the author of the Demon Cycle series from Delray Books. Uh, the Demon Cycle is a completed five-book fantasy series. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> um, don't let him talk to you like that. <laughs> you win. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, published in 26 languages worldwide. Uh, my mom says they're very good. Um, I will be playing a uh, grung arcane trickster <laughs> named Rama. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so uh, that's going to do a lot of things to my voice where I'm not going to have to fake the voice by the end of the night. <laughs> um, uh, my Extra Life donors have been amazing. So in addition to purchasing my uh, brand new set of metal dice and my character sheet, uh, I get one Wand of Wonder effect, uh, one magic item of, uh, to be determined by the DM. Um, <laughs> And they chose that name I just had to pronounce. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be a good time. You get a potion of poison. Awesome. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> How does that work? Uh, Isn't that just poison? Somebody drinks it and they take damage. <laughs> so fair. it's just poison. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sugar-free red oh. Ooh. Ew. Uh, I'll go next. Uh, hi, my name's Garav, and I'm a producer and editor over at Saving Throw Show. And I am going to be playing uh, Gompus Clavis, and that name was chosen by my amazing Extra Life donors. And I am a rock gnome druid of the fifth level who is um, a little obsessed with cooking and finding the best ingredients uh, possible for all of his meals. Um, and I believe the most, uh, like the craziest thing they gave me was a rare item, which I chose to be a portable hole. Mm. Hope that doesn't break anything. Mm. Um, Wait, you got to choose what your rare item was? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Because if you let the DM choose, apparently it would just be a regular hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably true. Probably true. Probably true. I got to choose, though. Well, not the utility of a regular hole. <laughs> <laughs> also true. What was uh, your name again? Uh, my character's name is Gompus Clavidus. Gompus. 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 I'm supposed to write these down. Oh, it's a good idea. Oh, man. You don't have to. Um, I am Amy Vorpal, and I am playing um, a, oh boy, um, this is a, <laughs> a, a level five druid, um, Warforged. Uh, her name is Corpsey P. Spooky-Doo. Um, <laughs> I think it was around Halloween. <laughs> and she is a, a Warforged uh, with a family, and this family is primarily mimes. She has foregone this background to find her own way, but uh, as accents come forth when you're drunk, so does her mimery. So um, <laughs> if she is impassioned, she will mime. Also, she has the character flaw of finally realizing that the world does revolve around her, <laughs> and sometimes uh, she will just break into third-person monologue as if in a film noir 
movie. Um, <laughs> that would be fun. Uh, I, I also, again, thanks to my Extra Life donors, get uh, two uncommon magic items determined by Chris and a rare magic item also determined by Chris. And as I was asleep that last night, I got a wish spell, which I'm guessing phrasing will be important. So <laughs> no, uh, no, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Chris wouldn't do that. <laughs> Uh, so thank you for everyone who donated. What were the rarities of your items? Um, two, one rare magic item and two oh uncommon Lord. magic items. Oh, good Lord. This is like homework. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, would you like a bag of holding? Uh, yes. Oh, I also have a bag of holding. Oh, uh, no. Would the original? <laughs> 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 would you like a broom of flying? Yes. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Is that the, the rare? Ma that's, that's uncommon. That's uncommon? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just picking stuff at random off of D&D &D Beyond. Um, <laughs> but please, let's move on. OK. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. I'm fixing my water bottle. Sorry about that. Uh, my name is Elisa Teague. I am a game designer. I design board games and card games. And I also write content for D&D &D Adventures League and other upcoming stuff. Um, I have awesome donors as well who have chosen for me to be um, a Yanti mystic. They've also um, chosen for me to be the only person on this in this group to dress up. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they actually chose me to dress up, but then they also <gasps> chose you to be the only person to dress oh, up. Oh, is that so. what it was? <laughs> I got it. <laughs> um, I have a bag of holding. Um, I actually cleared it with the DM ahead of time. <laughs> um, and uh, two potions of healing, thank you very much. And a bonus to my AC, which I need very much. Well, not really, because I'm not going to die. I'm a mystic. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, challenge the DM. Yeah. <laughs> what was your mystic's name? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, one of my donors did choose my name, except didn't actually make the choice. She knows who she is. Um, so I have named myself Sasha Tishana. Heavy on yeses. Uh, I can see Sasha. <laughs> so is T your middle initial, or is it Tishana? Tishana. Mm. Sasha. You can call me Sasha. <laughs> it has begun. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, my name is Matthew Mercer. I am a voice actor and the dungeon master for Critical Role on uh, Geek Sundry and Critical Role's Twitch. And uh, thanks to our fantastic donors tonight for Extra Life, I'll be playing uh, a Tabaxi Celestial Warlock um, who is. Man, a lot of interesting backstory stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> some of it I'm going to keep a secret. But what else? They like, seems to be wanting to strike out on their own because when they were born, one of their parents died and they found out that it, it's the same soul. And they don't want to be boxed in ah. by just oh being dear. their parent. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be interesting. A couple of the fun bits uh, out there. My name is uh, Tavid Das. And uh, I was granted uh, a reroll. Two healing potions, uh, a rare magical item, and a wish spell. Mm. Wow. I will <laughs> wish, <laughs> and I've already decreed, my wish spell will be used only to undo Amy's wish. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 then phrasing doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I don't actually do it. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Amy. Fun. Uh, just yes, flipping yes. through my D and D Beyond, a rare magic item for a warforged that you might find interesting is a docent, a docent, which okay. is a small metal sphere uh, studded with dragon shards that you can basically attune to if you're a warforged and you embed it in your chest, <gasps> where it comes to life. And it's an intelligent magic item that is designed to advise and assist you. <sighs> Ooh. That is amazing. <coughs> so it's got a piece of the dungeon master inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You've also got a cloak of the manta ray. Good luck with that. <laughs> 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 what was my random magical effect? We never covered that. <coughs> oh. Um, they said bag of tricks or wand of wonder effect or wild magic surge. So what could go wrong? It's just on you all the time? I don't know. <laughs> Wow. Uh, maybe I'll encounter a Wand of like Wonder a, during like the game. Is I don't it, know. Is this a, like a permanent Wand of Wonder effect or something? I don't know. Like You're the DM? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you don't want to say that. <laughs> so sure, yes. Okay, no, so you it, were, it you has were to be a positive one that gives oh. me superpowers. 
Oh, uh, okay. I know. Uh, so what did uh, I just do? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nothing good. <laughs> every t every time an like orifice opens up on your body, butterflies come out. <laughs> <laughs> That's I for like real. Off every the time. Magic chart. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's right out of the chart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Forever. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and, and sometimes, sometimes maybe when you do it, there's like a small chance that a rhinoceros comes out. <laughs> this is going to make hiding in shadows difficult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, al you also turn blue for no apparent reason. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just blue forever? <laughs> or do I just turn blue randomly maybe for a little while maybe. and then change back? Yeah, maybe it's triggered by something. Mm. Some deep-seated, you know. Like um, when I get trauma, upset or yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, or or something else. <laughs> Maybe just being in proximity to you know one of your friends triggers it. Oh, yeah. Which one of you makes me feel blue? <laughs> Maybe oh, <laughs> maybe you turn blue every time somebody kisses you. I'm a, I'm a giant frog. I don't think yeah. that's going to be that much of an issue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Those butterflies are alluring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually uh, a prince. Yeah, yeah uh, my name's Pat Rothfuss. And uh, I, I, I do many things, and I do not do other many things. Um, mm, the, the lovely donors have put me in this situation where I'm playing a half-orc bard. <laughs> <laughs> by the name of a bard Tholomew. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have a fear of hair. <laughs> oh, we're going to be good friends. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I, I, just so that I am not blamed for this behavior, I always have a song in my head that I often hum or sing. Okay. This so is the Flash Gordon theme song. Oh, <laughs> I think it will be on rotation, but we're starting there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Chris. That's just that, and it never gets to that. You just do that when you walk Um... And uh, with a Russian accent, I would also like to say, hey, everyone out there in TV land, <laughs> you can donate to give me a new accent that isn't Russian. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. <laughs> my best would be better if it was anything other than Russian. <laughs> uh, also, I have an uncommon item uh, and a rare item, and I also have a wish spell. Oh, my. Uh, <clears throat> Could you wish for butterflies to not fly out of my butt? <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I wish to have a different accent? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to that would be the uh, best, uh, the best uh, to wish. <laughs> if you want to use I that wish, right now. I wish I had accent diff not strong like bear. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, that's it. That's what you're in for if you don't get in and donate for a new accent. Um, so any ideas uh, of items? Oh gosh, gosh! I will gosh. say I, I I love me some you know, like immovable rod. Okay. And, and Absolutely, can, Patrick. Is that the rare or the or the uncommon one? Uh, let me just check here. Immovable rod. <laughs> just a rod. Went to school with a football player <laughs> named Immovable Rod. <laughs> 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 um, okay, so it is an uncommon item. Ooh. And for my rare <laughs> item, could I get? Another immovable rod? <laughs> <laughs> for, for your rare item, huh. I'll give you an immovable 10-foot pole. <gasps> oh! <laughs> it's like a super long immovable I, rod. I love that. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and, and that is me. So Great. I feel like I cheated here by picking my own item. If you want to, you could just no, change no, that. No, no, no. Okay. He I'm, knows. I'm, I'm quite happy to. <laughs> I just keep food in there. It's fine. That's all I keep in there. All right. Roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> It begins. 20? Right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, that's 20. 20. All right. <laughs> Is that close? <laughs> 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 just short. It's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did you roll on your initiative? Uh, 10 plus 5 is 15. 15. Gompus. I also got a 15. All right. You have a plus five dexterity bonus? No. Or 15B. 
<laughs> Corpsey B. Spooky Dude. Uh, that's a P. It's a P as in Peter. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, she got a 21. 21. Sasha. <laughs> I do not disappoint with my six. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Tabid. It would look like apparently I've rolled it a nice consistent 22. <laughs> 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 Bartholomew? Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> Six. <laughs> and uh, between you and Sasha, who's got the higher decks? Um, I've got a 14. Duh. All right. <laughs> you guys. <coughs> A purple worm erupts from the ground <laughs> and attacks you. Oh my gosh. Uh, a purple worm, for those who don't know, is like an 80 to 100 foot long worm uh, of immense proportions, about 15 feet in diameter, with a huge maw on one end and a poisonous tail stinger on the other. These things grind their way through the earth, rarely surfacing unless they detect the presence of overpowered adventurers. <laughs> oh boy. You don't, you don't hear that coming, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> So there were some vibrations, and then boom, it exploded out of the ground in front of you. Tavi Das, what do you do? I momentarily piss my fur, um, <laughs> <laughs> but steal myself, because <laughs> I'm in mixed company and do not wish to embarrass the uh, people around me. I will uh, cast invisibility on myself <laughs> <laughs> and carefully back away. <laughs> well played. Now we can't see you if you're embarrassed. Yep. See? Corpsey. Uh, it was a dark and stormy <laughs> night. <laughs> Once <laughs> upon a time, no. and Amy, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening right now? There's a reason we're mine. <laughs> uh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, and. With my eyes closed and my inner eye wide open, I make it an even stormier night by calling lightning. I imagine the... Uh, Your the docent self-destructs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting to get that fixed, but... <laughs> I moved 60 feet away from the worm and cast a cold lightning. It takes three D points of damage if it misses its deck save. <laughs> okay, now you will provoke an opportunity attack. If I move away? If you move away. Uh, pass. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we want a deck save of 14. All right. The worm is the fastest worm you've ever met, <laughs> <laughs> the most dexterous, agile worm you've ever met, and rolled, even with its dexterity penalty of minus two, a 15. Oh, wow, okay. Um, I think that means, oh, it's still half, so yep. let's see. Uh, fifth, uh, 15, 16. Um, so eight, eight uh, as the lightning strikes it, uh, it surges through its weird core and does eight points of damage. All right. Uh, <laughs> Barely even notices, but little bits of flesh do fly off as the lightning carves through its flank. And I am left with the limpstiness in my heart. <laughs> yes, truly. And... Uh, I can leap 25 feet from, from a standing position. Mm. And uh, so I am going to GTFO, keeping it uh, PG-13. Um, and uh, leap away, and okay. then also uh, try and use my, uh, can I use my cunning action to try and hide? You sure can. I'm gonna do that. Go ahead and make a stealth check. By the way, you guys are in a uh, sort of a dead forest that's been scorched by fire. Hmm. 27. Uh, wow, okay. 16 plus 11. Yeah. So you just sort of disappear into... In a cloud of butterflies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you you learn to make it work for you, and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a ninja, like but a ninja. with butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> butterfly bomb. <laughs> bomb. Yeah, butterfly bomb. Uh, all right. Gompus, at roughly the same time that the grung <laughs> leaps out and just kind of disappears from your vision, what do you do? Uh, how big is this purple worm? It is about 80 to 100 feet long. Cool. Jesus. Yeah. 
Uh, hey, what do you what do you guys think those things taste like? Like you think good? Like if I just get a piece of it for a meal, we can just share it? Just don't disappear like everything, including my heart did. Jeez. Everybody's invisible. Wow, now. it got dark. I'm not gonna leave you. Uh, I'll cast ice knife. Okay. Uh, range you spell attack. You throw a tiny ice knife at this gigantic <laughs> world. I'm a gnome, so it's even tinier. Uh, so that is a 21. Oh yeah, you're gonna ice Oh cool. <laughs> so it does. Uh, ooh, uh, nine piercing damage. All right, that little ice knife doink, sticks in its side. Oh, and then you make a deck saving throw. And some goo comes out, and I, uh, 60, good for you? Uh, I think that's a pass, yeah. yeah. You're good. <laughs> You're all right. Oh, man. All right, okay. worm ninjas out of the way. This is a real fast worm. <laughs> uh, Sasha. Okay. And Barth Paul and you basically acting at the same time. I... Open my mouth and cause a poisonous spray. Mm. Then and strike at the creature. Um, you need to make a constitution saving throw. Whoop. That will be a 24. What the? So Ooh. basically <laughs> anything. Hey, beefy boy. So, um, constitution is its bag. Oh my god. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would be s seven points of poison damage. All right. And as a bonus action, I am going to surge of speed right the blank out of there. Okay. Um, it does not provoke an opportunity yep. attack. Okay. <laughs> the Yanti Mystic is out of there, leaving Bartholomew to stare down the great worm. Dun 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 dun. Oh, I just realized what kind of bard I am. A drummer. <laughs> <laughs> every every half work ever. Yeah. Um, does, is there any hair on this giant worm? Uh, there probably are strange protruding wiry hairs sticking out of its hmm. segmented body. Hmm. I don't like Worms that. Have hair. I wasn't afraid before, but now I am. Mm. Um, More like little cilia. Yeah. Uh, I, this, this is the most fabulously dressed fop of an orc ever. Mm -hmm. Rapier, plumed hat, and, and he, he, he charges forth <laughs> to, to do battle uh, yeah. with, with the worm in classic fencer's stance. <coughs> and and that's, that's what we're going to do. Yep, with a rapier. Have at it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 15? Doink! Nothing. <laughs> you just, you but but your the extent, it yes. looks elegant. <laughs> it looks elegant. <laughs> you bend the tip of your rapier oh, yes. on its head and, mm. yep. <laughs> and I, oh, I hold the pose <laughs> and I look around. The worm opens up its mouth <laughs> wide and chomps down on you, rolling a 28 <laughs> on its attack roll. Whoa. I allow it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for a total of 21 points of piercing damage, mm. and you are, you must succeed on a dexterity saving throw. You must. You must. <coughs> <laughs> I must? <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> uh, if I have proficiency in dexterity saving throws, that means I get my bonus plus my proficiency bonus? So Correct. you're... Y y your bonus may incorporate your, right, your so ability bonus already, but... 13. Yeah, but you add your proficiency. Okay, 13 is not good. Mm. Uh, the rest of you see the half-orc bard get swallowed by this creature. This was my plan. Oh, no! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> As you uh, go tumbling down its gullet, you are blinded and restrained by constricting muscle motions in its whatever, the esophagus. Ooh. Uh, you have total cover against attacks. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. And ha ha! No, see, it's not Russian. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> <coughs> we might never know. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Oh. And so, the, then the creature wheels around with its tail stinger, and I believe the warforged is present. And but you're—I can't remember. I'm you're invisible. 
Yeah, you're invisible. I said I didn't run, <laughs> and I should have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it will attack Tavid because it has blind sight. Oh. And invisibility. Son of a gun! Nothing to this worm. Oh, there you are! <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting this on you! <laughs> okay, so this tail stinger comes down with a 15. Oh, that uh, is exactly what it required to hit me. Mm. Oh, my. Oh, no. You hear a guy go, <laughs> <laughs> uh, So you take 15 points of piercing damage. Oh, no. And must make a constitution saving Oh, throw. I know what this is, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 16? Not enough. Uh, <laughs> you take an extra 42 points of poison oh, damage. Jesus! <laughs> So, <laughs> this, uh, the delightful Calico uh, warlock who has joined you on this journey dextfully vanishes and then reappears, bleeding out of <laughs> the <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> the eyes kind of look towards you bloodshot and go... <coughs> oh, I said, oh, there you are after that happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Point of order. And poison, like in, in uh, you know, when Shalab stings the little hobbit, just comes mm. bubbling out of his <laughs> mouth <laughs> on, onto the ground. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, who do I have to thank for this monster, by the way? Let me see. Oh. Let me see. Oh. Who did oh this? My God. <laughs> they paid good money for this purple worm, C.J. Bouillard. Ooh. Thank you. And that brings us to the top of the initiative order with Tavid, who gets a death save. Yes, I do. <laughs> wow. Prepare for a success. Excellent. Mm -hmm. One success. Corpsey. Um, how far away? How far away is uh, Tavid? Oh, like ten feet. Not far. Okay. Um, I'm a I'm a Healy baby um, druid, so I will actually. I mean, will I get an attack of opportunity if I go over to Tavid? <coughs> um, only, well, no, you should be okay. You'll be okay. Okay, awesome. Um, I'm going to use my Balm of the Summer Court. Uh, actually, I don't even need to be over there. So this is my bonus action, and I have 5d6 I can heal, heal him for. So wow. I should, Outstanding. I'll do that. So you just toss the ball on him from Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, there you are! What? Hi! <laughs> Slowly becoming Harry Carey. <laughs> Slowly? <laughs> I think what? Immediately. Have your ball! I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't die like my doses did. So 5d6, uh, 5D6 here we go. So Good. we've got uh, 6 and 11 and 11. Uh, 16 points back to you. So you got Ooh. all kinds of healing. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. and I was not tech. So yeah, I, I still call lightning. Um, that's still around. Yep. Um, does he need to make another? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, another deck save, please. 14. This time failed horribly. Yay! All right. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> so 10 and, uh, ooh, 20. <clears throat> Uh, 20 points of lightning damage. All right, it takes all of that. All and right. that's the first serious damage that you feel you've done. And uh, it it does not look happy. Feels good, man! Don't worry, Corpse is here! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord! Uh. Our grown friend. Okay, uh, <laughs> has a plan. Um, I am going to cast Mage Hand. Um, I leapt 25 feet away. Mage Hand has a range of 30 feet. Am I mm -hmm. still within 30 feet of sure. this yeah. monster? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take my potion of poison, and I'm going to just <coughs> use the mage hand to carry it over and just throw it down the uh, uh, the worm's <laughs> throat. All right, you just lob it into the worm's yeah. throat. Yeah, what the hell? Yep, the worm <laughs> will just swallow whatever's tossed in its mouth. No problem there. Uh, it will try to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, ooh, that's, that's kind of sucky. Ooh. Even with his bonus. Yeah, mage hand. All right. Oh, how the tables have turned! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, unbeknownst to everybody in this room, this oh is like no. the world's worst poison. I mean, the world's best poison. It's the best poison because it does the most damage. Okay. So it's the best worst poison. Yes. I would like everybody to roll every dice that they have on the table. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> and add it up. <coughs> and I will 
tabulate the sums. I should have uh, taken all the three, dice out of my bag. Six, yeah, I have a uh, bunch. Six is 12. I'll roll one set. I'll roll one set. 20. Plus 60 is plus. A 40. 40. Plus. Hundred twenty-six. <laughs> what? what? Wow! I'm prepared. Yeah, I'm just saying that percentile dice works out when you roll eighty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should have put more dice on the table. Uh, I got forty-two. Forty-two. Uh, oh my gosh. One hundred five. Nice. Oh, wow. One thirty-seven. But I'm immune to poison. <laughs> that's great. Um, this, is, <laughs> this is all damage that the worm is taking from your potion of poison. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Awesome! Oh my gosh. May 10th. So Tell your, your potion does 512 <laughs> points of damage. Oh my god! Got him! Uh, and the worm collapses dead. Wait, what? what with is you, with Pat still down it? He throat. sure is! Bartholomew! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get him out! <laughs> You have you have some movement left <laughs> if you care to use it. You can do a little uh, dance. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can I get out of the way of the giant collapsing worm yes. before it lands on me? You can do that. that I would love to do that. All right. Uh, at roughly the same point, Gompus, you see the worm expire before you. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go inside the worm in the mouth, if You're that's crawl possible. crawl into it? Yeah. All I'm right. a tiny gnome. I can make it in there. May, as you crawl into its mouth, that's not a problem. Okay. Well, you can see that its its throat has sort of constricted a bit, and if you want to go down and look for your friend, you're going to have to crawl pretty far deep down into this worm. Okay. Uh, I will actually then uh, use wild shape to become a squirrel. Okay. Mm. And as a squirrel... <laughs> gerbil seems like it would be more... <laughs> 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 you go scampering down this thing's throat to look for your friend. Bartholomew, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> you in here? <laughs> oh, I, 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 I'm waiting to, for an action or for yeah, somebody you to... You are waiting for an action. Okay. Give me, give me a drum beat if you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> sweet. Inside the creature, you hear the beating. Oh, no, it's hard to... Oh, it's not, it's hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so you go scampering down uh, down its throat, and since this creature is so long and he's like 50 feet down its throat, it's pretty much going to take all your movement to get down there. Cool. And you realize uh, that your friend is basically basking in the acidic juices of this basking. thing's stomach. Uh, and, uh, but you can see him. Okay. And he is at least, in this moment, alive. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. That's a good start. Uh, Sasha. <coughs> Well, first, I say to you, I don't think it's good to eat anymore. Mm. I'm inside of this thing, so you gotta <laughs> speak a little louder. I don't <laughs> think it's good to eat anymore. I oh. yell into its mouth, and um, I've eaten oh. worse. We'll see. Um, I will um, feel around for a large bump, <laughs> 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 On Bar its side. Bar Bartholomew-shaped bump, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and uh, take take my dagger and see if I can like maybe cut a hole. Out. Make a nature check to see if you can ascertain where he is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> With advantage. <laughs> Ooh, 19? Yeah, you, you hear him. He's in there. You start carving with your knife. Yeah. Uh, just roll damage for the knife. Oh. As if you had hit with an attack. <laughs> Oh, goody, two. <laughs> okay. There's a little slice near your head where this <laughs> blade comes out. <laughs> the creepiest C-section ever. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I put through the you little hole. You didn't have to cut me off. <laughs> 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 oh. well, the hole isn't quite big enough for you to fit your whole body through. So you just goes, my head and an yeah, arm. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> uh, so having used your action to cut that hole, 
uh, somebody else can try to pull him out if they have a turn before he does, which nobody does. <laughs> so, um, Bartholomew, you, half of you is still in sort of the acid stomach. You take 21 points of acid damage. Uh oh. Are you conscious? Yes. Great. What do you, would you like to do? Make out. Make out like it never happened. <laughs> uh, <coughs> you're, you're half, well, not half, about a quarter of the way out of this thing now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> You got two uh, mimes now. You're like posing for a statue? <laughs> <laughs> like, can I, I, I'm assuming I've lost my rapier. Sure. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, just, uh, and I'm assuming also there's a lot of pressure in here, so if I, if I just widen this hole enough with my dagger, I will be sort of blooped out. Sure. Blooped. And I'm assuming also that that would be a performance check. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was on well, a roll. Th thanks to the secret donation you made, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm afraid that will just, you're just trying to basically cut this a hole wider. Yes. Just roll damage. Okay. And if you do enough, you can, you can floor out. <laughs> hmm. Uh, it's a finesse weapon, so four. Okay. Uh, that is enough to basically make a hole big enough that you can just <laughs> out. I it loosened it for you. Very elegant. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, your attire is somewhat acid pocked and um, probably not not very becoming at the moment. Okay. The miracle of childbirth. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you see a tabaxi. <laughs> well, he's, he's brought your sort of. Getting your life back. Conscious, but yes. uh, not doing all that. <laughs> uh, but, the, but the battle has ended, so we are out of initiative, and nobody's in imminent danger. Would you like to Yes. Uh, before I do, can I extract any sort of vital organ that might be good for cooking? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you can definitely do that. Cool. <laughs> um, Coated in the worst poison ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's a seasoning, okay? <laughs> uh, you can also see that some of the refuse that this creature has eaten in its other oh, travails yeah. is also sort of littering <laughs> its gullet. Great. Uh, so you can make a perception check to see if there's anything of value. Okay. Oh, an 18 plus, uh, so 21. 21. Yes. Like like a shopping enough. list here? Well, as it happens, there are some items that I've been asked to interject into the adventure. Oh. Mm. So oh. <laughs> you find <coughs> a glass sphere, like a little like a snow globe. Okay. And inside uh, it when you shake it, it actually has snow, like like a, a gentle Madison, Wisconsin <laughs> snow. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, but there is a tiny figure of a creature inside that you recognize as a displacer beast. Oh, Ooh. okay, okay. And it's kind <coughs> of in a little woodland scene. And uh, okay, you can push, it's small enough that you can push it out as a squirrel. Okay, cool, uh, I will do that. a couple of inches to the side of where you see it. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, my replacement docent! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you can have that, that's fine, yeah. Yes, yeah, so you take the snow globe and just sort of stick it in the whole cavity and you just <laughs> bonk. Okay, it just sits there. Sorry. It fits. Yeah, you cram it in. Does it talk to me like the old one did? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay, so you got the snow globe displacer beast and you got the organ that you want. Okay. Mm. Uh, which is, it, it might be some sort of toxin-producing... Okay. Gland? Gland. Cool. <laughs> and uh, what do you do next? Uh, first off, I would like to presume that uh, this period of time we could all just sit for a second <laughs> and just rest. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just a nice, solid, short rest for an hour or so. I am uh, very much in a bad shape. 
And as Corpsey looks around at all of her friends, she realizes that everyone might think that Blair was in charge of defeating the beast, but she also finds it important to let them know that she set it up before he knocked it down. Matt, Matt, and it you're welcome. Seem, Please wish it this away. It fair that your narration should happen in that voice. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Please, uh, so you can spend hit dice now to take a short rest, to get your hit points oh, back yeah, if you I wish. Well, I would, I would re oh, now I've got a New York accent. Oi, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to do Sylvester Stallone. Uh, Oi? No. Oi? I'm doing Bronx. Uh, I'm working on it, guys. I'm really doing my best. My best is not very good. Um, <laughs> Adrian! <laughs> I get use constitution bonus so. to hit dice when I spend them in a short That's rest? That's right, yes. I didn't remember short rest last time you poisoned me. Um, <laughs> that is a theme. Last time. While you, you are me. resting, a figure saunters up to you, basically uh, coming out of the forest, maybe drawn by all the chaos <laughs> that has just ensued. Um, this figure is a slender old man in a sort of Sherlock Holmes style cape and dressed very much uh, in the Victorian <laughs> flavor. And he's got white wispy hair and he, he's not a big fellow, uh, but he carries himself well on the back of a goat of terror. <laughs> a a uh, smoldering black goat enormous, muscular, with mean-looking horns and fire in its eyes, and a face like the skull of death himself. Tasha. I would like to note that I never stopped hiding. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Have you seen such a creature like this before? Never have. Great, this is not helpful. Have you seen a creature like this such as before? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is helpful. <laughs> You know what about it? <laughs> <laughs> he introduces himself as Dr. Rudolph Van Richten, Vampire <gasps> Hunter, <laughs> and says he has a quest. You're Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. It is, it is good to see you as well, he says. It's Rudy. <laughs> it is Rudy, it's a pleasure. weird goat thing. <laughs> Rudy, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am uh, uh, Tavid Das, uh, and uh, these are my compatriots. Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> Gompus. Corpsy! <laughs> <laughs> Sasha. And uh, Bartholomew perhaps took too many hits to the head, half orcs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he says, Come with me if you want to live. I like living. Let's do that. I'm a fan of living. <laughs> My God, he is made of catchphrases. <laughs> 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 well, I don't think we have much of a choice. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Uh, he leads you away from the carcass of the purple worm and tells you en route uh, that he is uh, taking a bit of a sabbatical from vampire hunting uh, to uh, seek out an ancient valley that is said to hold uh, possibly the lost laboratory of a powerful wizard who dabbled in such arcane magics, the likes of which people of this world seldom see. Uh, a, a wizard so sort of advanced in his thinking that uh, he built things, constructs, that defy imagination. And his name is Kowalish. You know, Kowalish, it has been said that I also defy imagination when I was constructed. I'm starting to think I used the poison on the wrong person. <laughs> poison works on Warforged. And uh, he says, <coughs> if we can find the lost laboratory of Kowalish, we can obtain his journal and learn all of his secrets. And as a master craftsman, possibly repair that damage you've sustained. My dozens? <laughs> yes, precisely. Yes, that would be lovely. <laughs> oh, I miss her so. Would you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, grab, I grab my friend and go, Is this love? <laughs> Am I feeling? <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, yeah, 
yeah, this is love. This is probably what it feels like. You should go with him. Uh, <laughs> see you later. Have a good time. Oh, Things boy. move very quickly in the old country. <laughs> they really do. They really do. Uh, <laughs> is there a dowry involved? <laughs> <laughs> And I look upon a man who is most definitely worthy of my love. <laughs> I imagine that... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine the custom of humans and such are beyond me, and yet, what an adventure a marriage should be! <laughs> <laughs> uh, suddenly... <laughs> <laughs> Due to donations, um, oh gosh. Uh, Van Richten unzips his Van Richten costume. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, my love. Let me see you as you are. Oh my God! <laughs> Revealing his true form as Matthew Mercer. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought you were at your most beautifulest. <laughs> and uh, yes, he, he shakes his tremendous mane of hair and gazes at you <laughs> with his steely gray eyes and and uh, and it's just uh, yes. <laughs> it's the hair. <laughs> <laughs> it is good for you to back away. He looks shifty as I get up. I would not trust him. And asks you how you want to do this. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to scene. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. So this this game is just yeah. insane. <laughs> <laughs> I change I change it to a goat and offer offer my offer a, a giant goat and offer um, that that uh, what's his name Qual Qualfus or uh, Matt Mercer to ride on my back instead. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that was so well <coughs> phrased. You could have gone so many ways with that. <laughs> <laughs> PG. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Indeed. yeah. yeah. Indeed. All right. Um, so yes. Uh, so uh, they seem to be hitting it off. Uh, what do the rest of you do? What the fuck is going on? Um. <laughs> this is a very surprising turn of events. Yeah. We go? Well, I mean, wha so we're going to this valley, right? You know mm. how to get there. And yes. then we're going to meet this wizard, and we're going to ask him for... You're going to try to obtain his... Or, or learn, learn what secrets he may have left behind. Uh, okay. Polish is past, correct? Yeah. What technological uh, wonders await. Uh, one of the things that uh, is rumored to be there is a suit of powered armor. Whatever oh. that means. We shall oh, hunt. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, I now have an incredible Hulk accent. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> God, it doesn't get any easier. How do you do this? <laughs> um, Just delete every third word. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a catchphrase, too. Well, now you have, <laughs> you have two thirds of a catchphrase now. <laughs> Just keep saying it. We reclaim this marvel. For Adrian Doran of the Dane, Dane lands. <laughs> <laughs> and smash. <laughs> and smash. <clears throat> uh, so you travel for some time uh, with Matt Mercer. And uh, <laughs> uh, when he no longer needs to ride his goat, he can reduce it down to its figurine form and just sort of carry it with him, this little tiny goat. And... Uh, as you're walking along, um, <laughs> I have to look this up. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Talk about If this is to be an actual um, union when we arrive, I will let you know. I am an ordained minister under the uh, the watchful eye of the great old ones. Um, um, you, you are. <laughs> uh, you guys are all lucky because I am a goat and cannot communicate except um, my my batting. So yeah, I, I take my paws and 
and place them on, on your chest in, a <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in, a, in agreement. <laughs> uh, I will send you a telepathic message Thank saying, you. I'm happy to plan your ceremony. <laughs> uh, but I, I uh, but you, hear, you hear that in your voice with all the S's possible. Oh, yes, awesome, awesome. Of course. <laughs> 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 the happiest goat is like bouncing and frolicking, and, and I guess Matt Mercer is holding on for dear life. All right, and uh, so he leads you to the mountains through some tunnels into those mountains on the other side of which you expect to find this hidden valley. And he's referring, he's basically periodically just kind of looking at a map and then tucks it away. And uh, he tells you along the way that among the things Koalish is known for is a contraption known as the apparatus of Koalish, which is a submersible yeah. vehicle that looks like a lobster. Um, mm. And it sort of gives you a little bit of mad insight into how this wizard's brain works. Uh, and he can also tell you things that he has learned about Koalish. And I would like everybody to roll. Let's see. Percentile dice. Oh. Ooh. 85. 85. So one of the things he tells you is that Kowalish is rumored to have disappeared in search of a place called Dawin Galoin, a city of glass people, mm. uh, which he believed had all had great wonders uh, that he could learn about. And uh, he, it is also rumored, he tells you, that the way to reach this city is to gain access to a machine of Lum the Mad, which can open a portal to this location. And given that this machine is a technological wonder in and of itself, it's possible Qualish might actually have it mm. in his possession and may have even used it to get to this city of glass people. What did you roll on your percentile dice, Carl? Uh, I got a 74. 74. Uh, you, um, uh, Matthew Mercer tells you that this, uh, <laughs> uh, this, this lost city of glass people um, may not lie far or may lie in some sort of uh, parallel dimension uh, in sort of spatial location to where Koalish built his lost laboratory. Mm. So in going finding his laboratory, you may also find the way to this city. Amy? Uh, 99. 99. Uh, this is where you, uh, he tells you a little bit more about this powered armor that Qualish is rumored to have built, that whoever dons this suit can channel powerful magic, but must fuel its capabilities with their own body's vitality. So it's not a glitter boy. <laughs> Don, <laughs> Don, life armor for Don. 96? Uh, he tells you the exact same thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear him the first as time. I, <laughs> as I said. <laughs> <laughs> What did you roll? 41. 41. Uh, do, 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 do. You, you also reveal that, or Matthew reveals to you, <laughs> David, <laughs> right? that uh, one of the things that uh, Koalish was rumored to have done was take the brains out of individuals and put them in containers where they could survive indefinitely. Ooh as just mm. disembodied intelligences Disturbing. that you could confer with. Yeah, mm. <laughs> very much so. Patrick? 35. 35. And he tells you the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's as he is talking to you, thing, you're right? all <laughs> noticing <coughs> that among, he doesn't have, uh, besides his goat, the other piece, the other item that he has on him is a small box tied to his belt. Uh, which is beautifully filigreed with mother of pearl and gold and platinum. It looks like a small, flat container, like the size of a card deck box. And <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> it looks incredibly valuable, like priceless. Ooh, okay, yeah. new iPhone XS. <laughs> 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 oh, no. 
It has an almost irresistible allure. No! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> no! For those who don't know, we are, we are receiving donations <laughs> during the game, and those donations are shaping events <laughs> in real time. So don't be afraid to donate and please donate. make this game crazier. Yes, please do. It make it a little crazier. weird. For the kids. It's, it's so it normal. It's <laughs> um, I can, it's use, fine. I can use a butterfly feet It's fine. I'll just, I'll just have enough. I'll just have Amy Vorpal's axe. <laughs> <laughs> and of all the ones it seems I can do, this is it. <laughs> wow. What has gone wrong? <laughs> point out that I took the haunted one background, but it isn't until now that I've had a reason for it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so this sparkling deck case, uh, anybody who cares to can make an arcana check. Very nice. Uh, as, as, as you, an arcana check. Uh, intelligence. Um, 19. 19. Whoa. Excellent. Okay. I'm happy to try. Uh, 17. 17. Nine. Nine. <laughs> I'm the best die roller ever. <laughs> I managed three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad this is <laughs> that this gift has been bestowed upon you. Patrick. Imagine the meme where the guy is looking at the other girl like, damn, yeah. and that's my goat looking at <laughs> 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 All right, well, it sounds like 19 is the win. Um, so uh, you think that this deck that Matthew Mercer is carrying uh, is an incredibly powerful legendary artifact called a deck of many things. Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> None, what could go wrong? Nothing and that, go wrong. that drawing, <laughs> drawing from this deck can have world-changing, possibly calamitous, or hugely beneficial. Major effect. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, a person in the back of my brain thinks the reason Matthew has this is to prevent players from having it. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think it's going to do a very good job of it. Um, well, I, 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 I kind of whisper to the rest of the group as we're passing along and moving away. I'm like, so uh, our, our guide, this strange person, um, and I slap you. <laughs> <laughs> and you get the sense that I'm defending. Uh, That's defending. her fiance. <laughs> <laughs> to me, the descriptor strange is not a bad thing. <laughs> All right. Um, but nevertheless, is carrying something very valuable in this person. I myself am not uh, uh, as well trained at the art of not being seen when pilfering. Uh, any of you able to do this such a thing? Well, I tell you what. <laughs> what? Um, what? I'm trying to look like it's locked. Randy Macho Man Savage. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. You know who can pick a pocket like no one else? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I can. Randy Macho Man Savage. I'm, I'm, I'm a hot mess inside now. Literally melting in front of us. Stop it to a slip, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, but yes, you believe that it's it's essentially you can just essentially pop sl slide the top off. Okay. Um, and just expose the deck inside. It's not a locked container. All right. Well, um, I feel like fate has brought me to this moment, and I have no <laughs> choice but to use my mage hand to steal a card out of this deck. All right. Ooh. Because what could go wrong? What um, could go wrong? What indeed? In his last words. Okay, let's see. We have got. We don't have a deck of cards, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. How, an inconvenient 22 cards. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll say the two are missing. Uh, roll a d20 to determine what card you draw. Nine. 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 One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're only one hour into the game. We can't all draw cards from the deck of many things yet. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. 
you draw the card that looks like a side profile image of a bedecked knight in full armor and with a visor down so you can't tell the identity of this knight at all. Uh, just this full helm visor with a plume uh, coming off of it. And as soon as you see that image, a knight appears out of nowhere within 30 feet of you. He is the same race as you. <laughs> he's, a, he's a grung knight. Grung knight, yeah. He is an armored grung knight. Uh, Loyal to you unto death. Ooh. Loyal to me? Yes. Sweet! Yes, believing that the fates have drawn it to you, uh, and you control this character. Yeah. He was a grung and stormy knight! <laughs> so, <laughs> this grung and heavy armor, clank, clank, <laughs> clank, 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 comes over to you and, and pledges uh, eternal obeisance. Uh, does he have a name? I or should I give you, him a grung name? I will let you choose his name. And you can think about it if you want, or you can just... Uh, I'm gonna Give it a moment's thought. All right. <laughs> uh, he he will he will take whatever name uh, you you deem fitting for him, or whatever name you deem fitting, or oh. whatever name. <laughs> Thank you. So the rest of you just see the card come out, and then the Someone card disappears, and this grung knight is now with the party. Wide-eyed and kind of slowly creeping, this this <laughs> curling cat smile on my face like the Grinch. My goodness, this is a great boon. And uh, the fair-haired one, I'm sorry, is not putting his to proper use. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast invisibility on myself. Oop. And then Oop. carefully attempt to not pick a card, but pilfer the deck. All right. Do I just put pet knight <coughs> under treasure, or how does that work? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pet knight. Pet knight, yep. all right. Good night. <laughs> all right, uh, make a sleight of hand check for your character. Uh, that uh, is a ch -ch -ch, uh, 15. And make a perception check for Matthew Mercer. <laughs> 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 no, my wife has taught me anything. I have really low passive perception. <laughs> <laughs> my spatial awareness is real bad. Uh, but I rolled 17. <laughs> <laughs> Foiled by yourself. All right. Uh, so what would NPC Matthew Mercer do, realizing he's getting his deck pilfered? I don't know, DM. What is <laughs> <laughs> I think he would let it happen. Ju <laughs> mm. Yeah. The deck is a curse. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, he like thinks these people deserve yeah. it. A lesson to be learned, perhaps. <laughs> oh, boy. Sort of one and so done. Matthew, Matthew Mercer <laughs> arches an eyebrow and uh, lets the fates <laughs> determine the outcome of this event as Tavid seizes the deck. Ma Matthew may even pretend not to notice. I am so good at this, friends. <laughs> 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 the pale one did not even notice. Well, what's in there? Are you going to make like a friends for all of us? I mean, would we, would we want to wait till like, we're resting somewhere? Or do we want to just start picking willy-nilly? I like that one. Yeah, let's do that. All right, cool. You first. <laughs> <laughs> you just draw a card. Yeah. <laughs> you roll a d20. <laughs> I hope it's I'm a gonna recipe. step away. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 19. Oh my. Higher is better. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not I don't sure know that it matters. matters. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, so you draw a card that is a, uh, a smiling, kind of androgynous figure uh, holding uh, a, a knife up to its lips. And that's when Matthew Mercer betrays you all. <laughs> 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 and attacks. Uh, everybody roll initiative. Hey, what do you think slow. this card means? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Oh, no, Six not plus good. five is 11, eleven, but I will note that I stepped away before that happened. Mm. You did. <laughs> Gompus? I got a six. Six. Uh, nine. Nine. Sasha. Six. Six. Again. Wow, a lot of sixes. Tavid. Five. Oh five. Gosh. Wow. Bartholomew. Sixteen. Ooh, finally. Okay. Aren't you, like, almost dead? Oh, I'm better now. Okay. <laughs> Go, Pizza. Okay. Top of the order, top of 
the order, top of the order. Yes. Uh, so uh, out comes this uh, magical Vorpal DM's guide. <laughs> 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 and uh, he will come at you and make an attack roll. You got to like a cookbook or something? Yeah. Uh, so it's just like Amy's DMs? It's signed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a bunch of signatures from the D&D team. And oh my god. Are you <laughs> shitting me? For the kids. Wow. For the kids. Uh, correction. It turns into a rapier of wounding. No. Wait. Hold on. Oh, cool. <laughs> Before he attacks, Matthew uh, cracks open his rule book, uh, utters a few words, and Bigby and Strahd von Zarovich appear by his side. No! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> no! Oh my god! All right. And he just says, get him. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's badass. <laughs> I like that. I, mean, I like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, this m magical grasping hand appears uh -huh. around you, mm -hmm. and now I can look up this spell. Excuse me. Yeah, folks. but I have mage hand. So cool. Yeah. So cool. Like, I think he invented so I, so mage I hand. Do I can so. do that. Yes. Uh, I'm going to look up the Big Beast hand spell. Oh, Christ. <laughs> this is. All right. Big B's hand. <laughs> da 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 da, and it makes an attack roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that will be an 18 against your armor class. Yeah, that gets me. All right. <clears throat> uh, it will slam you with its clenched fist for 24 points of force damage. Oh. Right. <laughs> you just go tumbling, <laughs> go tumbling off into a field somewhere. Uh, right. The the vampire Strahd is uh, I I know his stats by heart. I, don't know <laughs> yeah, no. I bet you do. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> uh, says back from the dead, <laughs> and we'll target probably not the Warforged. I'm thinking. Oh, I'm close. Uh, Sasha. No. Yes. <laughs> uh, he fixes his gaze upon you, and you have to make a wisdom saving throw, Ooh, lest you uh, succumb to his magical supernatural charm. But I Is it daytime? Dice well. uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he begins to smolder <laughs> as he does this. Back from the dead. <laughs> 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 Mercer's like, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. You are under the vampire's spell. Oh, really? And uh, oh, no. he, he, he sort of turns you into his ally and asks you telepathically to help dispatch these fools. And uh, that's all that he's doing on his turn, besides Burning. bursting into flames. <laughs> 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 and I feel like looking for some I place <laughs> with shade. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, great. Oh my god. Uh, and then Big B hands Matthew Mercer a helm of brilliance, which Matthew puts on his head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and next up is Bard Tholomew. Uh, I do have a random effect suddenly afflict me, or benefit me, potentially, mm -hmm. just to let you know that came okay. in. Random effect. Uh, do I know that before I start my turn? Uh, yes. And so, how, how do you think we should determine this? Just I, I trust you. If it's you. random, we yep. should roll, shouldn't oh, we? Oh, we should. Okay. Um, and let's... Let's go to the wild magic table. Oh, the sorcerer. Yes. So you got your uh, player's handbook like there, don't second you? Second edition wild magic mm -hmm. table. Go to the sorcerer. Ooh, I have. Go oh, to yeah. the sorcerer um, player's player's class handbook. description <laughs> and roll on the wild magic table. Do you believe in magic? Mm -hmm. 99. 
really believe in magic. I regain all my expended sorcery points. <laughs> <laughs> And at the same time, I develop a new accent. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, adventurers, large, small, living and dead and undead, shatter. <laughs> and I do shatter on that tight cluster of enemies over there. Okay. Go ahead. <coughs> oh, um... Big B is going to counterspell that. Ooh! Oh. And since Shatter is a second level spell? Uh, the way it, a cute. regular person would cast it, but I have a bunch of sorcery points. <laughs> which, are, which are worth totally butt kiss. Too. Um, yeah, so your spell goes fizzle pop, fizzle pop, and Big B says, please. <laughs> um, as a bonus action, I make the rudest gesture I can imagine. <laughs> and as a drummer and a bard, I'd like to think that it's very rude. Okay. <laughs> Sensation. As a uh, reaction, I go, oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then our grung friend. Um, I tell my pet knight, Pretend to be me. <laughs> and then I, uh... <laughs> does, does he immediately hide? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, he's the same race as me, and, and, you know, armored better, so I'm going to go hide. Okay. <laughs> He'll go with you. <laughs> no, stay here. Pretend to be me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, so he'll stand there and pretend to be you. Um, not you don't have to fight unless they attack you. All right, he'll just stand there in the place that you were standing and await further instructions. <laughs> 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 and Corpsey? I'm not going to go pick a fight with um, Big B. Are you still a goat? Uh, I bonus action out right. of my goat, and I am now the beautiful Warforge that you initially fell in love with. And um, <laughs> and I and I look you in the eyes, and and I go, uh, I approach my beloved, and I look her in the eye. Him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm whatever you want me to be. <laughs> I look him in the eyes, and I say, baby, I don't want to fight. He, he seems to be a completely different person. Like, something has completely turned him into, you don't recognize the, the love. But I will if I have to! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I also, um, I think my Displacer Beast, uh, Snow Globe, yeah. uh, malfunctions and a wild magic surge uh, from chat pops forth. Okay. Um, so do you still have that table open? Yep, yeah. we're ready. All right, uh, so a 15. 15 is, for the next minute, you regain five hit points at the start of each of your turn. Oh, heck yes, Pretty okay. Good. Um, so, uh, yeah, don't need me right now. Um, so what I look, I look into my beloved eyes and um, I, I also have received the character trait that I chew on items to process them. I, I still do not know what love is. Let me see if I can taste it. And I grab his hand and like put it in my mouth to try, try to, to bite it. Well, I, pro I chew oh. on things to process them. So yeah, I do. Oh, okay, so is it more like a, like a gnawing? Like a, no, I, I intend to pass it through my cavity. <laughs> PG-13! Okay. Uh, how, how wonderfully make, clinical of you. <laughs> make a... Uh, so you're trying to grapple him, basically. Uh, sure. So go ahead and make a strength athletics. Okay. Track. Yeah, okay. Ooh, roll well. And I also rolled well, 19. Okay, yes, you take his hand and you put it in your mouth and you bite down on it. <gasps> what is love? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was like looking into the sun. And he's like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> As you, as you sink your metal clampy jaw around his hand, trapping his hand in your mouth. 
And uh, whose hand? Wait, Matthew. 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 Right. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> yes. uh, uh. And at the same time, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, wow. It's for the kids. Don't, yes. I, yeah. Don't I totally worry, get. everyone. It's, it's awesome. I've got a plan. Really? Because <laughs> I really hope you do. I mean, I kind of do, but it might get us all killed. Oh, okay. Yay. Well, you know. It's the best kind of plan. <laughs> uh, and at the same time, or moments after that happens, uh, Gompus and Sasha, you're kind of acting more or less the same. I'm going to start with Gompus. Okay, cool. Uh, so I am going to go up to Strahd and say, Oh, Lord and Master Barovia, please let me help you. I have... A portable hole! It's nice and dark in there! Why don't you just go inside? Okay, uh make a deception. <laughs> cool. With the advantage, cool, right? Yeah, well, against his insight. Against his insight. Pers uh deception? Yes, please. And if you have any rerolls, don't forget you have that. That's a 20. Not okay. a nat 20. Dirty 20. That's a dirty 20. That uh, does not <laughs> get him, convince him to uh, jump into the hole. Uh, I'm going to jump in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You are safely in your hole. Now looking up. Uh, out of it. And I'm going to close it. <laughs> Boo! Oh my God. It's wow. possible. That's a thing. That's I just can't. I can breathe for 10 minutes. It's okay, guys. I'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Somehow, I don't know how this works. <laughs> how does that even work? In the physics world, but he reaches out to the edges of the hole and pulls it in on himself. It's very much like the Looney Tunes. Yeah. 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 That's all, folks! <laughs> <laughs> Sasha, you are still under the vampire sweat. Of course I am. Um, so I am going to send you a telepathic message and convince you that you need to join us because don't you want to leave your fiance? Join us. I knew a chewing on his hand would give me the answer. <laughs> <laughs> so are, you're casting a spell? Um, no, just I'm just persuasion. placing the suggestion in Got her mind it. telepathically. All so right. from across the something? wherever we are. Okay. Uh, does is it something that she has to save against? No, or? it's just okay. me it's telling just her that she should be doing. So it, you're so. you're a good traveling companion. Thinks is planting this seed in your mm -hmm. mind. Oh, okay. Um and so I yeah. Oh yeah, okay. I, I I'm still me. Mm -hmm. Can't you can't tell by my s's? <laughs> okay. So <laughs> then, then it falls to, since you're not under a compulsion, you just yeah. act as you think you a should. Am I okay. uh, am I under this uh, so much that I would actually go and uh, attack uh, my companions? Uh, or how much? Yes. Uh, oh, well then in oh, that sure. case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I noticed. Um, I'm sorry. I I forgot how to pronounce your name. Gompus? Uh, no, the Grung. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, um, and it's a I will. But I'm hiding. Um, Does she know? Can she see me if I'm hiding? Well, she'd have to make a uh, perception check <coughs> against your stealth roll. Okay. So well, you have your um, body double. Yeah, I, do I know I have body a thing for this. Yeah. I can use my um, precognition, right? Mm -hmm. um, because that lets me basically see everything before it even happens. Okay. So I knew he was going to hide. Okay. So I can si uh, I can cool. spend those points. Mm-hmm. Which I will, as soon as I find my pencil. Plus, she's known you long enough that um, she knows your default reaction <laughs> to any... Oh, yeah, we're all friends. Yeah. Okay. And I will um, go in and do a stabby-stab with my dagger. Okay. Now, do you want to attack... You want to go after him hiding, or do you want to attack his knight, who is kind of standing in for Pretending him? to be me. Oh, um... Num I'll go for the night, not to metagame, but I'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, alas, my poor pet knight, who never got a name. <laughs> right? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, um, I'm probably hitting you, I'm sure, even though... 16? Uh, that does not get through its plate armor. Oh, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> I did it wrong. 20, oh. 21. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. God. Roll your damage. This knight, this knight has, is what pretty durable. What are the durable. stats on my pet knight? Oh, I have those. Right okay. Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, so you uh, uh, deal him a minor wound. Doesn't seem to phase the knight terribly. I did tell him he could attack back yes. if he was attacked. Yes, and he doesn't know Sasha. Ah, it doesn't matter. So I'll, I'll, make, I'll resolve that roll right now because something bad's going to happen momentarily. Oh, yay. Uh, <laughs> like it's not already bad enough. Uh, so it is, uh, he counterattacks you and rolls a 15 against armor class. Um, that hits, but I am going to force you to re-roll that. I just ah. need to figure okay. out what it is that I, makes me do that, but I know I have it. <laughs> I'm forcing you to re-roll it. I'll spend the points later. Okay, I shall. Uh, so that is a total of 17. Oh, that definitely, <laughs> well, that definitely hits then. All right. Uh, so he tries to run you through with his little lance, and uh, that is going to do six points of damage to you. Okay. And then Tiamat I swoops fuck in. No. What? Uh, overhead, you see a dark shadow fall upon you. Uh, I need to get out of this. And, and <laughs> descending from the sky is a five-headed dragon of such enormous proportions, it is as if though a rainbow mountain were falling on your heads. And uh, Tiamat lands in the midst of the battle, at which point Bigby says, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we'll just leave it at that for now. Uh, I think I used my potion of poison too quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and you notice, riding on Tiamat's back is a drow priestess of Loth. Also in daylight. Also in daylight, wearing sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Killer shades. I'm glad they made up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Two. Wearing great. Paris Hilton sunglasses. And uh, uh, they, uh, and all six of their heads look at you with dire foreboding. And then it is Tabuni's turn. Okay, lots happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you saw yeah. the deck of cards, by the way. Oh, no. Wait, you're holding the deck of cards? <laughs> Don't worry. Um, Tavid, who since childhood has been blessed with this strange mark that is uh, right next to the blue-yellow mermaid tattoo that he keeps on his arm. <laughs> he calls Dotty. He's told, talked to you about it many times. Um, but next to that mark is the mark of a star. This star carries the power of a great ancient magic that has yet been not unlocked from within. And using one of my granted, the only granted wish that many fantastic donators <laughs> gave to me, <laughs> Tavid looks up with fear in his now eyes and, and goes, <laughs> goes, I wish that these summons and creations that Matthew Mercer has brought upon us are actually just made of paper mache. And he admits the deception. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, Matthew Mercer says, <laughs> okay, this, this is a good one, okay? Uh, all these creations <laughs> are just products of my imagination. They look real, but they're actually paper mache. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at these creatures and they look pretty damn real. <laughs> <laughs> And he says that, that casually with his arm being digested? <laughs> <laughs> with, yes, with, the, with his hand stuck in your mouth, that's what he says, okay. yes, yes. Ow. <laughs> okay. Are we outside of combat order? Uh, nope. Uh, is to be done? To be backs up 30 feet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then, uh, let's see, we are... Back at the top, uh, Matthew Mercer will, um, hmm, hmm, yeah. I guess first he's gonna try to pull his hand out of your mouth. <laughs> okay. uh, so uh, make another strength uh, athletics check okay. against his dexterity, which I assume is God. decent. If yeah, above maybe. average. Okay, so maybe? yeah, no, it's not 19. So much. <laughs> Penalty. <laughs> 19. What is Matthew Mercer's dexterity score, Matthew? Uh, well, but based on how clumsy I am, I'd put it at like a, f a fresh 11. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what's the number? Uh, 19. Okay, you, you keep his hand lodged firmly in the mouth. Mm. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, he, he will, re uh, he will uh, 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 drop his book and pull out a rapier of wounding and attempt to stab you with it. Uh, he rolled a, let's call it a 17. Uh, that hits. Straight roll, no bonus. Uh, and, oh gosh, I gotta get out of the, this. Gotta get back to the wounding. Uh, you're gonna take four points of damage from the pointy end of his weapon. And, oh, I can't spell wounding. <laughs> Go. Hit points lost to this weapon's damage can be regained only through a short or long rest, so that damage will not heal. What uh, about my weird tonight. magic surge, wild magic surge, mm. that the donor so graciously bestowed upon me? Only a short or long <laughs> rest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and let's see. And you also feel like this weapon has kind of uh, planted in you some sort of necrotic <coughs> seed uh, mm -hmm. that could be damaging, m cause you more damage in the future. You feel like the wound that left behind has left you brittle in that part of your body. And... This is like every relationship yes. I've ever been into. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's uh, not just you. Bigby will then uh, <laughs> I'll walk over uh, to Matthew and say... Would you like to leave? Matthew said, now would be a good time. And uh, <laughs> Big B will teleport the two of them away, leaving Strahd von burning face. <laughs> Strahd von uh, on fire right yes, now. Yes, burning in the sun. <laughs> and TMS. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, you also see that Strahd seems to be burning a lot faster because he's made <laughs> <laughs> he's <laughs> actually <laughs> paper <laughs> mache. <laughs> 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 so at this point in time, he just sort of goes, <laughs> down to ashes before you, and the effect on you is dispelled. What? Oh, I'm so sorry for stabbing your friend. No problem. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, and so Bigby, Matthew are gone, and uh, Strahd is gone as well, and it is now Bartholomew's turn. Can I s is TMF made of paper? Can uh, I perceive this in some way? I mean yeah, yeah, you can see, you start to see like folds appear <coughs> in her scaly flesh and kind of weird lumps where it's, there are imperfections. Uh, but Paper okay. Bigby was still casting spells. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, so I... It's a magical world, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Why doesn't this make logical sense? I, like all good drummers, I cast Thunder Wave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, just out in front of me, uh, hoping to flatten this paper, paper dragon. Okay. The drow counterspells you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. is, is using a wish. And she says, uh... I, Quintal Ben Ray, will not be ruined. <laughs> will not allow this nonsense to persist. Tiamat, right. destroy Ooh. them. Everything. So that still eats my action. Yep. Uh, mm, um. Oh, by the way, before Big B left, he shrunk to small B. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay. I can now put this piece of paper away. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, is is uh, using bardic inspiration a bonus action? Uh, Stowing that on anyone? Uh, yeah. Can I assume that I was? Like yep. drumming up a storm, mm -hmm. and that did, and then it fizzled with the thunder wave. But still, it looked. I was rock and roll, right? Yep. Yep. And uh, who's coming up? So I think <laughs> watching me with the hand in your mouth. <laughs> I think you were inspired. <laughs> by this. If anyone could be, right. it would be you. 
And so you can, and what does she add to rolls if what's your It's a D8. D8. D8, okay, great. Yes, thank you. Also, it's a, uh, I'm College of Valor, so you can use that for an attack roll if you want as well. As mm, a skill roll. Thank you. Okay, that's the end of Bartholomew's turn. It is our growing friend's turn. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> Tiamat lumbers forth. Does Tiamat, has, has Tiamat noticed me? Do I feel like I've, like, like, I have no. a body double, I'm hiding. Yeah. Has not like, noticed has, you Like, I'm not, okay. Yeah. Um, can I uh, light a candle and use Mage Hand to just sort of, like, put it against the paper mache? Yeah, if you want to sneak up there and make a sleight of hand, or not sleight of hand check, a stealth check. Stealth To sneak check. up on the five-headed paper mache dragon. Good. Uh, so I have to sneak within 30 feet of it, and then I can yeah. reach out with, the, with Mage Hand for yeah, the rest of the way. exactly. 20. Woo! Yeah. That's Plus 20! You do. Yes. Nice. And uh, you light the candle to this thing, and it starts to catch fire. And just Sweet. starts to burn up on one side, and revealing sort of a hollow interior. <laughs> and uh, the draw on top? Yeah. Hasn't, oh. hasn't noticed yet. Okay. Oh. Because it's a big drive. Okay. Tiamat's humongous. <laughs> She's like 747 sized. And uh, so this thing, this big ass dragon starts to burn as it lumbers toward you, Bartholomew. And that's good. Yeah, that's great. What could go wrong? Corpsey. Um. And with that, the love of my life is taken from me <laughs> by a small bee. <laughs> <laughs> enough lubricant inside me, I'd be weeping at this moment <laughs> without, I've, I've chewed and chewed and learned almost nothing about love. Uh, <laughs> uh, and so with that, I have nothing left to lose except my new paper mache friends. And um, I cast, uh, oh, I don't know. Thank you. Uh, I actually want to, I, I want to, I want to, I want, no, no, I want to cry, I want to cry at the drow priestess's feet, um, and say, you are not, also not made of flesh, surely you understand my predicament? <laughs> Okay, so uh, you're trying to, what sort of reaction are you hoping to get? Like, is uh, this pity. A pity? So you, you're trying to persuade them not to do you any harm? Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I've lost enough, I think. Okay, make a persuasion check. The okay. no, for charisma, one <laughs> emotion. <laughs> it's definitely pity. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm adding my bardic inspiration. Very good. Uh, so that is, sorry, it was persuasion? Yep. Okay, that is a pretty good uh, 14. Oh, no, it's not. It's minus one, so uh. it's 13. Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any effect on either the evil drow priestess of Lolf or the lumbering dragon that's catching fire before your eyes. <laughs> okay. But, uh, one last thing. Before you leave, too, I take it out and toss it away. Hold a <laughs> snowboat? Yeah. And like, just in a random direction? Uh, in a, yeah, not, not okay. trying to attack anything. Uh, when it hits the ground, it shatters, mm -hmm. and coming out of it magically is an actual displacer beast. <laughs> <laughs> and that displacer beast is under your control. Oh, what? Oh. 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 I make it hug me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Kitty comes over and wraps its big 10 foot long tentacles. His shoulder tentacles they, like, around spiked? you. <laughs> they are spiked, and they just sort of abrade against your metal Aww. and wooden flesh. She's mm. an emotional support display. <laughs> 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 Does have like a little vest on yeah. and everything? Yes. He's gotta have a vest. <laughs> of course. He's gotta have a vest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I like um. it even better. If instead of throwing it away, you just like. And then everything's awful. You smash Back. it, and it just hugs you right there. Yes, like, yes. Oh. yes. yes. <laughs> that is what it is, it is purring very, very loudly. You can hear its heartbeat uh, okay. pounding as, as, it, as it just lavishes um, <laughs> love upon you. The kind of love only a, an animal can provide. A turn well spent. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, as the Tiamat continues to burn, <laughs> and a Quenthil catches fire, and she starts to burn, 
uh, like some sort of paper mache pinata, creatures start to fall out of Tiamat's hollow interior. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God. What kind of creatures? <laughs> A flying monkey. Okay. Uh, comes tumbling out and takes to the air, and it's a cute little fluffy flying monkey. Oh. Uh, Negan from The Walking Dead. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Henson the Grung Knight. Oh, Art, cool. oh that's his name. name. That's his name. That, that's oh, yeah. oh, Henson is my knight now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I guess... That's I not know. a Grung name, I, I'd like to make clear. <laughs> Clearly. Um, Henson! <laughs> is how we'll say it. <laughs> yeah. Artist Simber, who's a human... Um, a human Does he have the Ring of Winter on? Has him? the Ring of Winter Son on. Of a bitch. Great. Uh, comes tumbling out, and Minsk the Ranger and his space <laughs> hamster <laughs> boo. Yes. Is there oh. is there any indication that they are allies of the pinata they fell out of? It looks like they may have been swallowed by Tiamat and oh. are just sort of. Are they out also of paper mache? Uh, no, they're real. Yeah. So <laughs> as she sort burns of. away, they come tumbling out. So we got a monkey, artist Simber, <laughs> yeah. Minsk, something or other. I don't know what Negan, that is. Negan, and oh, Negan. Oh, Negan, yeah. Yeah, Negan and Henson the Grung Knight. Grung. Yes. Oh, and Displacer Beast. <laughs> uh, uh. And then, uh, yes, so Minsk comes tumbling out, picks up his sword, and looks at his little buddy and says, I told you to go for the eyes. <laughs> 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 I know, she had ten of them, but Steve. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the end of that turn, Corpsey Mc, uh, 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 please spooky do. Uh, Gompus, uh, suddenly you find yourself surrounded by strange beings from great. other worlds. Well, I was in that hole, but I'm going to come out because I think I feel... You feel suddenly safe? Well, no, I feel really bad because oh. this is all my fault because I pulled that card. That's right. So is. I'm going to come out and just see the ridiculousness that's the in front of me. The whole landscape has yes. changed. In the last six, six seconds. Gone. Yeah, six seconds. Yeah. Todd's gone. Matt's gone. Big B's gone. Mm -hmm. This big ass dragon is catching fire before your eyes and just burning up. This drow woman you don't know also burning up. And then there's a bunch of strange people who just appeared. Cool. And Corpsey's having a yes. moment. And Corpsey's <laughs> having a And a flying monkey swoops down and tries to carry you away. <laughs> <Make> <laughs> I mean, I am a tiny person. Yes. Yeah. Uh, actually rolls a 17 to hit you. Oh, yeah, that gets me. Okay, pick, picks you up <laughs> and flies off with you. <laughs> 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 we can have chilled monkey brains for dinner. <laughs> Might have me for dinner. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a fun turn. <laughs> also coming out of Tiamat is Gilmore from Gilmore's Glorious Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of the Gilmore Girls? What, what was that? <laughs> yeah, it's a Gilmore Girl. I don't know. Who, I don't know who these people are. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. A new artist, Simber. Uh, yes. And so, uh, next up, uh, do you want to do anything as your action? I would like to. <laughs> uh, can I cast Gust of Wind towards those flames to make them spread faster? Sure. Cool. So uh, it is a strength saving throw. Uh, I don't imagine a paper mache dragon is terribly strong. So yes, uh, yes, you you blow these things, and suddenly they just all the two of them just completely burn out. <sighs> okay, cool. We're getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you're getting somewhere. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> cool, S Sasha. With my keen mind, I recall just about a month ago traveling to another plane where I saw a television show and mm -hmm. recognize Negan. Yes. <laughs> and so, I then quickly decide to delusion him into seeing me as Daryl, and I pull out my crossbow, <laughs> <laughs> imbue my bolts with faithful archer, and shoot him. Okay, go ahead. As I wanted to for a few seasons. He's now. just an actor. <laughs> <laughs> He's just an actor, so he doesn't have a lot of hit points. <laughs> Fifteen. Hit. Where are you? 
Boys Club. Ooh, eight. How do you want to do this? <laughs> 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 Where would you like to shoot him? In the PG-13? In the PG-13? In the PG-13 area. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he falls over dead. <laughs> yes. And there was much rejoicing. Um, I'll just smile. <laughs> Minsk will turn to Boo and say, oh, the ratings are going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> he, get, he gets uh, his own uh, movie. <laughs> exactly. Tabid. Uh, well, as the now mental compulsion that has come to me is forces me to mimic those around me, oh, no. uh, I've been paying complete attention on Minsk and Boo since they arrived. I rush forward and say, Friends, I have heard so much of your travels, and uh, I myself a quite a big fan of all the great things you've done along the Sword Coast. If you would please sign my chest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, he, he says, do you have a pen? Uh, uh, does anyone have a pen? <laughs> For the love of God! <laughs> does anyone have a pen? <laughs> I, I do, actually. I don't. Exactly. But I'm, 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 I'm way up in the air. Carried away by the flying monkey. <laughs> I cast <laughs> slow on the flying monkey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, flying monkey fails its saving throw. Good. Someone bring him back and bring him his pen to me! Here, catch! Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to catch the pen. <laughs> All right. You can just do that. It's right. not hard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Minsk and uh, Boo. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. May I have another? I mean, thank you very much. <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> well, you're going to save me, right? Ah! I'm helping! <laughs> you are slowly flying away. Great. Uh, and um, so we're... Oh, God. I don't <laughs> uh, all of the NPCs go. They, 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 the ones who are left uh, don't have any necessarily actions prescribed. Let's see, Minsk has already done his thing. Uh, Gilmore would just look at the dead corpse of uh, 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 Negan and, and uh, back away from you slowly. <laughs> um, Artist Simber uh, studies the battlefield like any seasoned adventurer. And then seeing his, his the creature of his dreams uh, will walk over to Amy's character. <laughs> <laughs> walk over to the Warforged uh, and kneel before you. Oh, Jesus. Uh, take, you, take you by the hand. I, I move the Displacer's Beast like head out of the way so I can <laughs> see. Yes. Uh, and takes you by the hand, <laughs> sneezes because he's allergic to cats, <laughs> and then <laughs> proposes to you and says, uh -huh. my, my dear giant robot, <laughs> would you please, please be mine? We can be together. I, Artis Simber, with this ring, wish us to live on immortal for all time. Three things. <laughs> uh, I I can't tell you how flattered I am. Number two, everything that has loved me has perished. <laughs> Number three, should you still wish to go forth with this, you must assume the final surname of. Spooky do. <laughs> <laughs> Artist Spooky do. He says, "For you, my love, anything, and may I say, your voice is like the song of summer in my heart." <laughs> I also uh, for number four. <laughs> 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 uh, I I don't truly understand love yet, but I think a quick chew on the hand would do. Let me get an insight check on this guy to see. <laughs> the voice comment. That was when I flipped. Uh, oh, no. Oh, that is a uh, 18. Uh-oh, for what? Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, so he seems he seems sincere. Like uh, there's some just something about her. It, it, he says, you know, I, I I have crossed dimensions to find you. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> He says, no, no, this is okay. <laughs> as, as you start gnawing on his head. That's fine. It's still very yeah. uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of us. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, um, he says, as long as I wear this ring, I will not die. I will not perish of natural death. And so you, who clearly do not age and wither, can be with me and I can be with you until the end of time. Well, I can't see how this will go badly. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Uh, do it. Right? Is it you? Is it you? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We're all like this. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> right now? You want me to do this for you right now? <laughs> Gilmore's like, where are we? <laughs> What show is this? Never the bride. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, while this, yeah. we're kind of out of initiative. <laughs> yeah, now, I'd say so. Uh, uh, if you want to, what would you like? Uh, can I shoot the flying monkey? You totally can. <laughs> yes, no, I've, been, I've been waiting okay. like half an hour. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'll see you guys no, later. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm good up here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> seven, but uh, it is seven plus eight, so that oh, that's is a hit. Fifteen. Yep. Roll your damage. Um, that is one d six plus five. Uh, seven points of damage. You kill the flying monkey. You fall. Ah! Oh shit! I didn't really think this through. <laughs> 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 and uh, you take. Well, you would take this damage, but I've got some re-rolls. I've, oh. I've actually got four re-rolls, so I'm going to use them on three. I'm going to use three of them to re-roll these dice. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, so you end up taking 15 points of damage from the fall. Okay. I'm good. I mean, I'm not good, but I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry about that. So I'm, a few seconds I'll after <laughs> he hits the ground, <laughs> you hear a, I'm okay. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. Uh, now that we're out of initiative, uh, you still so remember everything. Monkey for dinner. <laughs> you still remember everything that Matthew Mercer told you about Koalish and the Lost Valley. <laughs> um, what would you like to do? Do we know how to get there? He, uh, he conveniently dropped his map that he was using. <laughs> <laughs> I believe a wedding ceremony was about to happen. Yes, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> yes, artist, artist looks around and says, is there anyone who could marry us? Oh, I can! <laughs> 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 All right, uh, yes, uh, he, will, he, he will stand with his hand in the mouth of the Warforged. <laughs> so You're going to play some music? <laughs> Do you both take each other to be lawfully wed here in the eyes of the gods of the valley? Uh, since this is a ritual, I, I, I like revert back to my training and I... Um, I put myself in a box <laughs> um, real quick and then I find a doorknob <laughs> and I open it and I get gesture Aww. for him to come inside. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is lunacy! <laughs> 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 this is happening! <laughs> 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 a random effect. Oh, okay. A random effect. Actually, we're going to take a break soon, so let's take just hold on that right. and we'll bring that up in the beginning of the next session. So, and he comes yes, inside, he and I mime closing the door, mm -hmm. um, and I, uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of mime leaning on a table for a hot second, mm -hmm. and I, I, I grab him some drinks of wine that are fake, mm -hmm. and uh, we mime drinking together, yes. and uh, and. Uh, and then I say, but that was the old me! I do! <laughs> <laughs> and then Artis and Corpsey kiss, and then... No chewing this time. <laughs> they, uh, the, the Ring of Winter sparks, and they're just frozen. <laughs> together. Wait, oh no, I know this. I know this. An act of true love can melt a frozen heart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and they're just sort of frozen in this beautiful moment. Neither of them uh, needing... 
uh, anything but themselves now. Forever. Aww. 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 That's good, right? <laughs> You're the robot, should, but you I reprogrammed his heart. A slow yeah. tear down my cheek Aww. and like turn over to Bartholomew and be like, did I do this and I feel guilty? <laughs> <laughs> they seem happy. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. The truth be she is for the groom and bride. <laughs> it's it's <all> right. <laughs> Actually, then your random effect goes off. Okay. And an albino triceratops with a saddle and a bridle comes sauntering up to the party out of nowhere and stands next to you. Bridal like to ride, not bridal like a wreath or like a, like a bale. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear. Cause it doesn't say Triceratops bride. Okay. So uh, it says saddle and bridle. So li yeah. Like I can, like it wants me to ride it? Yeah. All right. Groovy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the Grom uh, is on a Triceratops. Pet. I'm going to add to my pet knight. I also have a pet <laughs> albino <laughs> Triceratops. Yes. And that's going to need a name. And here is where we're going to take a 15-minute intermission. Okay. We will return thereafter and hopefully get to the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to the continuing adventure that I don't know what it's called anymore. <laughs> uh, but we're having fun so far, am I right? And, yeah. and we have raised... Uh, through donations, six thousand five hundred and two dollars. <gasps> <Ooh! So good. laughs> For extra life, Yay. and now we are going to continue our adventure. When last we left our intrepid heroes, you know, it just occurred to me your party doesn't have a name. I don't know what to call you. Oh boy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. A donation may determine <laughs> oh God. what do we the party is. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, let's let him decide. What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> is that the name? <laughs> what could go wrong? Oh, what could go wrong? It's pretty good. What could go wrong? <laughs> what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Bring on the bad puns. <laughs> so when last we left the party, they were accosted by... Love. Love <laughs> and drama <laughs> and uh, flying paper monkeys and paper mache foes and uh, and Matthew Mercer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now there are still some stray NPCs loitering around, including Minsk and Boo and Gilmore and uh, your Grung Knight Herman, mm. and we have an albino <laughs> Triceratops, and we have artist Simber who is locked in a frozen embrace with his beloved. Artist Spooky-Doo. Artist Spooky-Doo, <laughs> locked, locked with his beloved corpsey. And the shade of Elminster, or perhaps Ed Greenwood, <laughs> <laughs> appears before you and gives you an info dump uh, to guide you on the correct path <laughs> to adventure. <laughs> he recaps everything that you know about Kowalish, uh, whom he has spoken to in his kitchen in Canada <laughs> on many occasions and uh, tells you where you can find his lost veil but warns you that he left many things behind before he disappeared in search of his long lost city of glass people and so with that the shade fades away um, after giving you all a warm hug <laughs> Does he also give me the two rare items that the chat room did when we came back from break? You probably steal those from his shady pockets. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, guys, keep him talking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'll be happy to let you decide what those wondrous right. items are. Oh, um, he also warned, he comes back actually, Columbo style. One more <laughs> thing. Oh, <laughs> 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 Mr. Columbo's amazing. I know. <laughs> uh, this is why we get along so well. Um, <clears throat> he says, uh, one of my enemies, Hallister, might appear at some point and offer you a dinner invitation. Don't trust him. And then disappears. Okay. Okay. So currently, Artis and 
corpsey are frozen together. I'd like to use my wish spell. Um, yes. And it has nothing to do with me, but I would like Koalash to be spelled K-O-A-L-A-S-H and to be um, an anthropomorphic koala. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. It's <laughs> <laughs> the wildest it's a fine use of a wish. Use of a wish spell. <laughs> I've, never, I've never experienced. Uh, Spent. <laughs> indeed. Uh, we have the map. Yes. We have the advice. Yes. We go. We have a frozen. Well, corpse-y. hold on. We have a magical. Demon goat, right? Uh, you have a white triceratops. Does anyone want to ride my triceratops with me? I will. T- <laughs> so I will wait, take. Does my knight have a mount as well? Um, he Was probably, he a mounted knight? He probably should. He seems like a mounted knight. Yeah. What Technically kind of mount do you want him to have? Knight. What would a frog ride on? Another frog. Uh, a <laughs> a, a bigger turtle. frog. Yeah, another frog. Yeah. A, tor- Maybe even a tortoise. Bigger. Yeah, tortoise. Oh yeah. yeah. I think an even bigger a frog turtle. would be amazing. Right. <laughs> so he's riding on a giant frog. Yeah. Okay. Um, probably also in, you know, metal barding and oh, yeah. uh, armored up, the wazoo. Okay. And he has a frog spear. And a frog spear, yes, absolutely. And, yes, yeah, so you have the map. You probably don't have the goat because uh, evil Matt Mercer probably took that with him when he fled with Smallby, which is oh. canon, by the way. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best buddy cop flick I've ever heard. You're the only person that can say those words, and the rest of the world shudders. <laughs> this is canon. <laughs> Did you feel that? Oh, no. Oh, no. I know. It's a disturbance in the forest. It's a travesty. Uh, <laughs> um, I will take this time to um, gather my rope and begin to strap the two of the lovebirds frozen together to the back of the triceratops. Great. <laughs> Done. And without further ado, you head off and <laughs> uh, press your way through the mountain chasms to this lost valley. And when you enter the valley, you see it's completely enclosed by sheer mountains on all sides. And you kind of emerge from a tunnel that has steps leading down to a metal platform that juts out over a sea of mist that hides the floor of the valley. So you can't really see how far down this valley goes. You just know it's kind of bowl-shaped and very, very big. And floating in the middle of this valley, a little bit higher than you are now, is an immense chunk of rock um, that looks like it's been ripped out of the ground. And there are sort of metal things coming out of the bottom of it that I could describe in medieval terms, but let's just say they kind of look like jet engines. <laughs> uh, and they're putting out a lot of fire and heat. And they just sort of rumble, and this whole thing just sort of rumbles as it's suspended there above the valley. From your perspective, it looks like the, it would be perfectly ovoid, except the top half of it's been sheared off at the equator, and there are structures on top of it. So it's kind of rough and rocky underneath, but then from its topmost side, it looks like there might be something up there, something more interesting. Is, are the jet um, rockets melting me? Oh, no, they're too far away. There's, a, there's quite an expanse between you and this floating rock. Mm. Uh, but below you, as I said, these rough-hewn stairs lead down to a metal platform that almost looks like a jetty or a dock. Hmm. And there's a creature down there about 40 feet below you, basically lounging on the dock. And it doesn't look human. It has feathered wings and is almost horse-sized. So we should catch our ride. Uh, So it would seem... How wide are these steps? They're wide enough that you can go down... uh, With the triceratops? (laughs) With the triceratops or, you know, two or three characters side by side. All right. I've forgotten how to play real D&D anymore. <laughs> yeah, no. I keep waiting for the shoe to drop, and I'm like, and then? Yeah. I'm also dreading the fact that my character has Tourette's and my tick is singing in the style of Brian Johnson from ACDC. Oh. <laughs> so just, you should all brace for that. Chat, you are cruel. The, the creature below you um, stirs, uh, sensing your presence. It looks to be... Something about it gleams like it's wearing metal armor or something. 
And like I said, it has big sort of feathered wings folded over its back. Put my hands up in a very kind of non-aggressive stance and just shout out to it with my rough kitten voice, but now mimicking my friend over here, <laughs> Yon T. Mystic. We come to not bring harm to you, so let us parley. Entreat with me, it says. Uh, that, is a, that was precisely what I was going to say, so oh, yes. All right, yeah, we're, we're entreating. And she says, if you wish to cross to the monastery, I don't know if I mentioned any monastery. But I mean, technological wonder, we see that, right? I look forward to adding whatever small knowledge you might possess to my collection. Oh. Well, that sounds slightly oh. threatening. <laughs> and we're fine. All right. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> okay. So, dump, 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 dump. you go down the stairs, you come out onto this <laughs> metal dock. And the creature appears to be a sphinx. Uh, mm. And uh, definitely a, a female face, uh, leonine body, feathery eagle wings. And you can tell that she seems to have suffered some ancient injuries to her head and uh, parts of her body that have been now been replaced with metal. So she's sort of a half-sphinx, half-metal construct. And orbiting her head are tiny devices, metallic in nature, that almost look like planets. Some of them have little rings around them. Some of them are tiny orbs with even smaller orbs circling around them. And these things orbit around her like she is a celestial solar system. got a pretty good charisma as the bard if anyone's going to negotiate should do it I'll back you up huh okay Alistair arrives and invites you to dinner <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's for dinner, at least, <laughs> right? That's true. Uh, Alistair, what, what, what are you intending to serve as part of your meal? Huh? Uh, he says, you. <laughs> 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 I mean, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a hard pass. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am allergic to meat, so I will have to decline. <laughs> are you turning me down? I am making it a rain check for a later date. Make a persuasion check. Ooh. What is a natural uh, one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you can see um, Halister is about to cast a spell oh. at you. <laughs> uh, you can see uh, the sky above suddenly thunderclouds just <laughs> all pull in above you <laughs> and they turn flaming red and meteors begin to fall from the sky. <laughs> oh, no. Okay! Uh, dinner, like, yes, dinner! They're more like, giant, <laughs> more like giant ash clouds. And then the sphinx goes, not here. And <laughs> Halister is just blown back into some sort of <laughs> gateway and thrown out of this plane. No. no so no, we should no. have gone to dinner. No, 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 no. And, and the her. Sphinx turns to you and says, <laughs> 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 The Sphinx no, turns no, to you, no, Bartholomew, no. and says, You were saying, No. Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Look to the yes, go. Milady, <laughs> I would <laughs> entreat you to come with me on a journey of adventure with 
children of all ages to the, <laughs> the fabulous adventure that you could come to snap into this. <laughs> <laughs> By joining our fabulous party! No, 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 no! You're having a stroke? What's happening? Is Is your friend unwell? I I don't know! He's very. He's usually I also have Circus Ringmaster. Perfect. I uh I assist him. Oh, please. How? As his hype man, and kind of like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you heard him! <laughs> it's a great invitation, you should take it. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Um, while, while these shenanigans are going on, the four of you, I'd like to make perception checks. She's frozen. You're frozen, you don't get to make a perception. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sorry, but. <laughs> Actually, you can make one, you just can't do anything. Seven. Oh, <laughs> great. Good, good idea. Know. I like rolling dice. Seven. Nineteen? Nineteen. Excellent. I got an eleven. <laughs> Sasha, you see that Gilmore is using this chaos to surreptitiously cast a mischievous spell. Against the Sphinx or us? Against. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, telepathically let him know that something is about to go down and like kind of be like look it over here and then um what do i want to do um you know what it's great i have no uh, attachment um i will just um venom strike him okay how far away you can see from me oh he's like five feet away oh perfect <laughs> <laughs> Constitution saving throw, please. It's the best spell effect ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what does he need to roll? Um, he needs to make a constitution saving throw. I don't know. I'm learning this as I go. I'm just letting everybody know this. Uh, Whatever you on a failed save, okay, blah, blah, blah. What's your DC for your uh, abilities? On like the it's second or third page. It's a constitution I, This saving. doesn't have that. Eight plus your proficiency plus your spell modifier. Okay. What's your spell modifier? There is no spell modifier. Would it be, would it yeah, it would probably be my intelligence All on right, this. 75 is 13. Yep. Okay. Uh, so uh, you cast the spell. So it seems to affect him. Mm. Okay. His constitution is poor. Oh, good. Um, well, then um, he is going to do take you some poison damage. Die. <laughs> Six poison damage uh, times, oh, I'm sorry, times, what did I want to say? Spell that. I'll say four. 24 poison damage. Wow. Oh gosh. How much damage? 24 <laughs> points Holy of shit. poison damage. Okay, so he gags and falls off the dock to his death. I have plenty of time. Oh. <laughs> Don't but mess. Not, but having cast his spell. With my friends. Which, <laughs> uh, uh. God, Matt, I just forgot your character's name. <laughs> I'm a terrible Tavid. DM. Tavid. 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 Uh, the spell takes hold of you. When next you speak, you are forced to speak like Pumat Sol. Oh. oh, that was it? I murdered for that? You did. <laughs> you murdered a glorious man. And we have a party oh, name. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Okay, big donation. The Mercenaries. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well Sorry, guys. <laughs> it could have been so much worse. That's pretty good. Yeah, that is really great. The pencil is not a very good Do you desire knowledge? <laughs> I will travel away with you, if that's what you wish on the condition that you accomplish this one simple task. Did you offer her brains in the jar? <laughs> <laughs> you, and if you fail in this task, I will be forced to exact a, a price. And the task is this. 
No riddles. That is so old school. <laughs> no, you have to. I demand that you ask a question that I can't answer. And know this, I have access to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of a fan of this progressive Sphinx lady. <laughs> <laughs> Your friends can help you. I'll wait. So, so it's, it's one question for the whole group? Uh, let's see. It is one question for the whole group. And uh, you guys can, you know, figure I out what that question the rest of you be. I'm willing to bet she can't pronounce my Breaking name. news, everyone. <laughs> Since I treat everything like a dramatic newscast now, also. <laughs> <laughs> It appears we're supposed to come up communally with some sort of a question that even the Sphinx cannot answer, but respectfully, she has access to this inter thing. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to wild shape into an alligator and see if that breaks this frozenness. Yes, it does. Oh, yeah. good. So basically, you, you, you're, the frozen form is basically you're in your Warforged, it's like a Warforged shell mm -hmm. that you as an alligator suddenly find yourself inside of and can break out of. Awesome. Okay. Yes. Uh, so I, also I, uh, breaking artist Simber's heart. Well, Simber's <laughs> there. She's still sort of frozen. Yeah. So I'm I'm an I'm an alligator for a hot second, and then or a crocodile, and then I'm uh, I'm back to myself, uh, my beautiful warforged self. I have an idea. What what, what's your idea? What is something that one of our characters would know that is going to happen in the future, that has not already happened yet? Because if something's, we know something's going to happen in the future, it wouldn't be on the internet. Oh. Yeah, uh, I have an intelligence of 12, so I trust that you know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's I have an intelligence cool. of 17. I <laughs> hope oh. I know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, go for it. I'm all behind you. Um, what just happened? Selfishly, I'd love to still know what love is. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's actually something that you can yeah, you can you can Google that. That's probably on the internet. Mm -hmm. Is it? Don't Google that. <laughs> <laughs> is, is Kids at home, don't Google that. <laughs> PG thirteen. Uh. <laughs> Not if the safety search is on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, ye old safety search. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Well, that's that's so all your, I got. Right your now. question is, what will happen in the future? Well, no, I think we need to ask something specific about the future. I, mean, I was just going to be like, well, how many fingers are behind my back? Because, like, <laughs> like one in five chance, right? <laughs> like, they get it right. So, but no, this is, this is great. How many fingers do you have? Uh, gnome fingers, so <laughs> five. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, like on your hand? Oh, yes. Okay. What do you think? If you, well, if you put your whole, then it would still be five. It would always be well, five. Well, I like holding up. Yes, okay, all right. <laughs> Great. All right. You got me. You got me. That's fair. That's fair. You got me. This is why I'm not doing this. <laughs> Good for you. Don't let yourself be gaslit by that gnome there. <laughs> Power to you. Uh, I'm still willing to bet she can't pronounce my full name. Ooh. I vote for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got I've got one too, but but. I mean, let's hear them all. Yeah, yeah put them yeah. all on the table. Put them out. We can vote. It might not work if I ask you first. Oh. Can 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 the Sphinx see the future? Mm, don't I mean, she maybe. kicked Halister's ass. If you can see the future, can I think this? Uh, I can see just about into the future, but not into the far future. I mean, we can take a leap of faith here if you want to take a try. How ma ha in how many scenarios do we win this? <laughs> 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 One. <laughs> Yeah, go nuts! I said do it! I'm mostly just curious, what am I going to have for dinner? 
Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hmm. Let me think. Well, what do you have on your character sheet? <laughs> uh. Oh, God. I set out on this adventure very extemporaneously, <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah. I turn, like, in my pockets, uh, like some hard candy, probably. Oh, okay. Hmm. What am I going to have for dinner? <laughs> Strix shows up and casts a fireball on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Holy no! <laughs> oh, okay. And apparently riding on her broom is also an orcish priestess of Joaquin. Oh! who is throwing money at you. <laughs> Mixed messages! <laughs> <laughs> what currency? Are these in, in coin form? Yes, a rain of gold coins. This is the weirdest club I've ever been in. Run for Everybody cover! Everybody make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> oh, hey, I did it. No, oh, that's a fail. <laughs> I also fail. Uh, How do you do saving throws in this edition? Dexterity eight. 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 Uh, eight. And I got a nine. Okay, good. Done. I got a 20. Okay, if you succeeded and you'll need to roll a, I don't have Strix's character sheet, so I'm just going to make this up, uh, DC 15 ah. or lower, you're going to take 22 points of damage. <gasps> 11 if you succeeded. Uh, did we heal before this? Uh, no. Cool. <laughs> now Sorry! She says and flies off. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were evil! <laughs> uh, but you did make a thousand gold pieces. Oh! Mm. Mm. All right. As they rain around you. You can buy a new gnome, because I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> you unconscious? Yeah. Oh, no. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, have we, been, have we taken a short rest on our journey at the very least? Probably not. Do you not. still have a deck of many mm. things? Ooh. I do. No, 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 no just wondering. Just wondering. <laughs> just wondering. <laughs> Here, I'll go ahead and, uh, since I am a celestial warlock, go ahead and use uh, healing light there to go ahead and just uh, heal you for a d6 to get you up and about. That's five hit points. All right. The Sphinx says, I honestly don't know what you are going to have for dinner. Ooh. I was really having a hard time deciding. I was hoping you could help me out. <laughs> 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 uh, wait, is that. What? Did we do it? Did that work? Yes. That was easy! If you come along with us, you'll learn at least one thing, which is what I'm going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she says, the ferry is on its way. And you can see, coming from a dock on that big rock floaty thing, is a boat. And it's coming slowly toward you. Wait, didn't a wizard just cast a fireball at us? Yeah, but Did he she then apologized. Disappear? Of course she disappeared. She flew off on her broom and then okay. backfired and left a big cloud of smoke. Okay, okay, <laughs> just to be clear. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to drink my potion of healing that uh, was donated by Great. our extra life donors. Thank you very much. Yeah, can we take uh, a short rest while we're waiting for the fairy? Also, yeah, that's absolutely. Yes. 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 All right. It's going to take a little bit to get here. Uh, while that's levels. going on, you can see that Artis, while he is trapped in the ice, that his, his ring, which is frozen in the ice with him, is sort of pulsating. Good pulsating Kay. or bad pulsating? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is mine? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. This, this uh, dock, I is there water? No, it's just sort of a metal dock that sticks out over the rocks. Okay. And below you is just the mist of the valley below. I, I am uh, going to put out my little tub and use my shape water to fill it and, uh, and, and have a lie down. Yeah, so uh, Grung unfolds a, a portable tub, <laughs> fills it with magical water, and then bat bathes. Um, <gasps> and uh, I'm going to use this uh, magic surge, wild magic surge that just shows up somehow. Mm -hmm. Probably my ring misfiring or whatever. 
Uh, for 20. Oh, okay. On the table, Pat. 20 is... <laughs> you cast <laughs> Grease centered on yourself. <laughs> 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 Make a dexterity <laughs> second throw. I would like to propose that this is actually the musical. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, that's oh, another one. Is that Greece? Yeah. yeah. It's it's Greece. Greece. Basically. Right. I, yes, exactly. Maybe. I, as I stand there and look at my pulsating ring, I, I excite myself so much that I grease myself. Whoopsie! <laughs> 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 uh, okay. But also, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I like that. Wear, wear, wear some black spandex for a hot second and do a weird, <laughs> weird foot dance. <laughs> it is a little awkward as you just sort of watch her this <laughs> cascade pour down. Uh, and I, I do make a dirty 20 dexterity okay. save. So you're, you're fine. Just dance fine. around my grease. Exactly. <laughs> um, Breaking news, it appears that our friend over there has greased herself. <laughs> 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 More news to come at 12. Nah, 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 nah. Thunder. <laughs> Uh, your, your rings, sort of the, the pulsing accelerates a little bit, and then there is a spark that comes out of your ring, flies up in the air, this blue cold spark, and one comes out of Artis's ring as well, shattering the ice around him, so he sort of comes to, and these two sparks boom, hit each other and turn into a child <laughs> made of ice. This little ice warforged ice, ice baby. baby. <laughs> 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 this ice ice baby. Called <laughs> 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 <Love> it. <laughs> appears. Sorry. Collaborate. Oh, I now know what love is. <laughs> Uh, now seems like a good time to mention that uh, one of my extra life donations was that I have a soft spot for young children and I'm compelled to help them at all times. Oh. Oh. We got an uncle! That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, this is, this is the best cold baby you've ever met. And you'll do anything for this little icicle. Yes, I will. Um, I, I put it in the hole in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really fit. Oh, it's it a little too big. A little too big for um, that. <laughs> you try to put it in this way, you can't oh. turn it. You're a great step. <laughs> yeah, artist, what is, <laughs> what is parenting anyway? You feel strangely compelled to do something about this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Why don't you just, grease your hands, why don't you just give it to, here you go. I think it you needs to be this. changed. Um, Oh, the, do you find it? Warforged babies, like, like, is there oil coming out? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually just made of ice. Okay, all right. Yep. Um, I, I'll take care of this, if you wish. He can ride on my Triceratops. Kids Ooh. love that. <laughs> oh, wonder, well, if you already know what he loves, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, so can that. we create, like, a, like a, like a, um, like a crib <laughs> on top of the Triceratops saddle? That we can sort of put yeah. the ice baby in. You totally can keep do that. it safe. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, You're worried though if, it's, if you know you don't want to put any blankets around it because it might melt. Sure. Sure. Yeah. And Artist, I just let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks kind of exhausted. <laughs> 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 His shoulders are sort of sick. Uh, and, and he just sort of gives you this pitiable look. Yeah. Or well, no. now I have a headache. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got head freeze. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so this barge uh, do, 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 comes over to you, and you can see that there's some uh, smoke trailing behind this skiff which is piloted by a hooded figure standing on its bow. Um, and as it comes over to you, it basically looks like a, a skeletal, emaciated, mummi almost mummified man 
dressed in black robes, very Karen-like. What did go wrong? And uh, <laughs> it drifts over to the dock and just pulls up alongside it. And the Sphinx will, you know, offer to uh, join you on your journey <laughs> to the monastery. Uh, so we uh, you know. get on the ferry, and I say, Henson, pay the man. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, he'll take care of that. <laughs> um, Minsk and Did Boo Henson also get a thousand gold pieces from the rain of gold? It was just a thousand that rained down on all Oh, the so, so it was, it was a thousand total, Split, yeah. not six yeah, ways or whatever. Exactly. Oh. Uh, Minsk and Boo don't care about coins, so they won't take any of it. I don't think there are any more NPCs I'm forgetting <laughs> other than your Hansen. And, and if there are, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we've hit, we've exactly. hit that point. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Got story to do. Um, <laughs> all right. Oh, this is a story? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, now, one thing you notice as the skiff is pulling up is that it has an unusual feature. Dangling underneath it is a chandelier. <laughs> you don't know why. It makes no sense. Mm. No sense whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> well, the rest of you get on there. I'm just going to go ahead and climb under the boat. As you do. And hang. Hang from the chandelier. <laughs> if okay. Swing. Okay. <laughs> the chandelier is actually a mimic. So <laughs> you become stuck to it because it's sort of sticky and adhesive. Uh, and then... Uh, it basically for sprouts a pseudopod and starts to beat on you. <laughs> mercilessly. I'm gonna swing <laughs> from the chandelier. From All right. the <laughs> this game is so fabulous. Uh, so let us roll initiative as this mimic attacks your... Come on, dude, are you serious? <laughs> Seriously? Wait, so it's for the children, Matt. I know. I'm using my so initiative. He's under the now. boat. And we're yes. under. All right. You hear him Where scream as the chandelier accosts him. <laughs> and Seven. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Tavid, <laughs> does a crit hit your armor class? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. That's yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be a total of 14 points of bludgeoning oh, damage. Okay. And you continue to be stuck to it. Help! <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry, uh, Grung, 14? No, you're... What was your <laughs> Am a Grung. And uh, uh, what's your... What's my armor class? Yeah, no, what's your initiative mod? Uh, seven. Seven. Uh, Gompus? I got an eight. Eight. Corpsey? Nine. Nine. <laughs> Sasha? Nineteen. Tavid. Ten. Ten. Bartholomew. Twenty. Splendid. Nice. What would you like to do, Bartholomew, when you hear below you the screams of your friend? Uh, I step off mm -hmm. the ferry. Yes. And drop. Okay. And catch myself with the immovable rod. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> And is the ferry moving? It hasn't left yet. Okay. And I go, Tavid! Yeah! Are his arms free? They are, but you can see that this creature, he's actually kind of stuck to it, and they're like str almost like gum-like strands uh, between him and the chandelier that he is currently riding on. Uh, <laughs> uh, that man needs help badly. <laughs> Can I? Can I flip off this rod and like get towards him and grab him? Uh, yes. Uh, for that, I'm gonna have you make a dexterity acrobatics check okay. to grab him, or you can use strength athletics if that's better for you. Uh, I'll do I'll do dex. Okay. <coughs> Is this very floating it's, in midair? Yeah, it's just a floating skiff. So if you, yeah. so if you fall, you're you're down. You fall in, you know. Oh. Just, just to be clear. Okay. And then you take off your mic and walk out the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
Sorry, doing the math. Yep. Six, nine. Fifteen? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. If I grab him, mm -hmm. then is that enough weight, big half orc that Just I am? Tear him free. Tear him free. Of, I'm going to have you make an opposed or a, strength, a contested strength check against the mimic. So roll your strength. It will roll its strength, and we'll see who rolls highest. Nineteen. I rolled a 17, strength is plus three. Is oh. Oh. You don't have a re-roll per chance, do you? I don't. I and, I, and I rolled super, I can't roll higher than that without. Okay. Can I give him my re-roll? Yeah, can I give? <laughs> uh, since you're there, you can, I will let you. Take the re-roll, try it again. Your re <laughs> Literally, there's just a 5% chance. I'll believe. take it. Gotta believe. Can I give myself bardic inspiration? No. Nah, I was worth a shot. All right, you are now both just hanging on the chandelier. <laughs> uh, okay. If you're you, attached to it too The now? rest of you sense I'm, that I'm things are not him. going okay. according okay. to plan. Okay. Um. And the next person up is Sasha. Sasha. Okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm going to delusion the mimic into, uh, so I'm gonna plant the false belief that it is holding, already holding onto him. So it holds on to the false belief and lets go of him. Let's go of him. Although I'm a little scared about that, uh, but yeah. I still want to go Sure, it's going to go fine. I'm not really sure where the plan Wait, of I have, I have free another, the thing I have I have another, I have another, they're yeah. right in front of me, right? But hanging from this thing. Yeah, they're hanging under the boat. Like and beneath them is just the, the abyss. How far from me? Oh, they're, one, if you sort of get off the boat and look, they're about 10 feet. Okay. Oh, I have a plan. Okay. I don't know if it's going to work. It's the best kind. <laughs> what could go wrong? Yeah. Okay. So you plant the delusion. Mm -hmm. Does it get a saving throw? No. It doesn't? No. It, it doesn't. I just OP. do it. Oh. Mystic. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Psionics and D&D, folks. Where's a developer when you need one? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so fair enough. So uh, it, you give it something else to grasp. Uh, it will do so. It will untether itself from you. Okay. You okay. As yep. a bonus action, mm -hmm. I giant form okay. into a giant snake person, which <laughs> gives me an extra 10 foot reach to grab them with my giant arms and catch them before they fall. You're a snake with arms? I'm, <laughs> a, I'm a pure blood. <laughs> Oh, you're turning into a like a Yuanti. Like I a, am a Yuanti. Oh, oh, so so I already okay. have arms. So you're turning into and how? And so you got a ten foot reach now. I have extra ten feet reach. Oh, so like fifteen right. feet. Ooh, so. My reach increases by ten there feet. There you go. Wow. And so you got these. And how how would you describe your arms? Are they like? It's a big beefy arms? arm coming right out of my back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But no. Um, All right. Yeah. A big no. beefy <laughs> yeah. to arm. I turn into giant form of me, right? And yeah. just go, Whoa. Got it. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yes. I also get 30 <laughs> temporary hit points for the time being, so I'm super this strong. This big Yuanti so hand grabs you uh, in its uh, <laughs> scaly fist. <laughs> oh, th thank you, snake person. You're really welcome. appreciate it. And uh, are you trying to grab them both? Well, I'm yeah. I'm hanging onto his foot. So I'll, okay. I'll <laughs> grab him. And you'll just go along with the ride. <laughs> okay, so you're grabbing onto them. You drag them over to the docks mm -hmm. and, and prevent them from falling to their doom. Thanks. The chandelier begins to uh, swing toward you. Oh, God. Uh, <clears throat> but the next person up is... Tavi does. Take him many things. <laughs> now is the time. No. It's always the time. All right. Uh, I would say I'm going to go ahead and cast Suggestion. Okay. On the Mimic. Yeah. And tell it to be, it doesn't need to be attached. It, it's, a, it's a dangerous to try and swing towards us while attached to that boat, so it needs to detach itself while swinging. Okay. 
And is there a saving throw? There is. That's a, that's a DC 15. I like not broken classes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, it's for charity. It, it will, it will Im- yes, you're right. <laughs> that's what you said. And it's not broken, really. Uh, okay, so um, you will know if you that worked shortly. All right. And I back away. The next up is Corpsey. Um, Corpsey, um, uh, Corpsey, Cor- Corpsey feeds its new daughter, um, some, uh, some of her nuts and bolts. <laughs> okay, so you just start tearing parts off yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then just sort of, like, try to stuff these down your... Child's ice gullet. <laughs> uh, the, the I'm baby, doing it, artist. I'm doing it. The, yeah. The, uh, the baby seems to have no interest in in eating, digesting your metallic. Eat bits. your yum yum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, this is all so terrible. Uh, this is great. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I'm never going to be the same. <laughs> After this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, might, I might just retire. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um, <clears throat> so uh, you're trying to feed this baby, yeah. and it lets out this sort of ice squeal, <laughs> and uh, that's your turn, mm-hmm. Gompus. <laughs> um, so I'm on the deck of this ship, and you are, I yes. will just uh, turn to my compatriots and say, you know what? We've been fighting a lot, but have we just tried? Dancing? <laughs> <laughs> because oh, I now feel that uh, happiness can only be found through interpretive dance. <laughs> hey, Mimi, come on, dance with me. Just let go. Just dance. It'll be fun. You know, I'm going to let you make a persuasion. <laughs> You're very kind. Yeah, because the mimic has always wanted to be a dancer. <laughs> but it's sort of been pigeonholed to be a chandelier. Yeah. Yeah. You could be anything. You could be anything. It, you open its mind. Whoa, that's pretty good. I got a 22. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, now, now it's got conflicting. It's got it, it, part of it, want, it well, no, wants to detach. And detach and it dance. wants to be a dancer. Not yes. mutually exclusive, man. <laughs> right. Sometimes you got to detach to follow your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> got to let go of the past. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> uh, uh, I know what I want to do, but, but first I have to ask a question. Do I feel that this baby is in imminent danger by being force-fed nuts and bolts? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess I can't help you guys. Uh, We're fine. So here uh, comes the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> An actual uh, tiny uh, metal airplane. Wing nuts. I can't believe that's what finally broke him. <laughs> uh, I am slain. <laughs> I have died. Please do something. So uh, 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 I, I'm gonna use uh, shape water. Shape water. Yes. Uh, uh, the, I, have, I have a little uh, a cube of water that follows me around. Uh, I'm gonna shape. I'm gonna freeze the water into the shape of a bunch of nuts and bolts made out of ice. Okay. And suggest to Corpsey, uh, perhaps you should feed these to the child. And you see the baby reaching out for those. Yeah. Oh, you did it! <laughs> Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> 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 Hashtag dad skills. <laughs> um, uh, but I also uh, can have a, a cunning action. Can I also have a cunning action sure. in that turn? Yes, um, absolutely. So uh, I have a climbing speed of 25. I'm a frog. Can I just like 
crawl right under the, the, the thing and yeah, stick to it? Absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna like um, secure a rope and I'm gonna just crawl underneath the ferry. Okay. And like, you know, I guess I can't get to them this round, but True. Um, and you can see, well, it look it looks like uh, they're no longer underneath the boat when you cl- when you clamber under there and you're just sort of boop, stuck there. Yeah. Uh, you can see that they've been grasped and taken back onto the dock by the giant so they're snake safe. woman. They are now safe. All right. So uh, and, done. And the mimic but looks you have like the it's perfect it, view. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And the mimic is swinging back and forth like a chandelier, preparing to detach itself as suggested oh. uh, by right. your companion. Well, I don't want any part of that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Strix flies by again and fireballs you again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! Dexterity saving throw. Uh, Fifteen is the magic number. Uh, Eighteen. Oh my God, mm. no. Ten <laughs> plus eight is eighteen. Eighteen by a fly by Strix, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I will use a reroll. Granted, I'm glad I recovered all my stuff. Temporary hit yes. points. Okay. My goodness. Okay, so if you rolled a fifteen or oh, fifteen or higher. You take 13 points of damage. Jesus. If you did not get 15 or higher, you take 26 points of damage. This one is okay. strong. And the, the orc priest of Joaquin is still riding on the back of the broom and throws another thousand <laughs> gold does it, uh, down upon you. Does it help that I'm moist? 26 is moist? Minus. Oh, actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to say that because you're under the boat, you weren't targeted. Sweet. Oh. Mm. Before Strix disappears, yell back. I was gonna gear you the first time, but now this is on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I I actually feel calmer than I have maybe in years because after two fireballs, no one in the party has hair anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I feel that that eases my Tourette's. I'm just going to put that over there. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. The, the, at this point in time, the mimic detaches as a chandelier, uh, sort of uh, swings up onto the deck. Are you still standing? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. And we'll start dancing with you. <laughs> Dance! Yeah, it takes you, it takes you by, your, by your little hands. And uh, just you start to dance. And it's, it's kind of sticking to the deck every time. It's like the world's worst dancer. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, uh, this, this mimic has no coordination, no idea what it's doing. It's trying to, and it's trying to turn into something that can dance, but it can only assume like object forms. So it's having a lot of trouble. This would be a good time to kill it. <laughs> Please kill it. It's, it's living in the dream. Yeah. And uh, Bard Tholomew. Uh As a drummer, I understand like rhythm, right? Yes. And so, can I, as they're dancing, can I, um, can I time it so that my thunder wave will blow it off? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm like, start off, do 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 Boom! Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Just when I got out, you pull me back in. All right, it's going to make a con save, correct? Yeah. Against your... Oh, that's not going to do. Um, okay, so unless... You probably have a DC better than 12, right? Uh, for my spell? Yeah. Ye- based on charisma, yes. Yes. Okay, it works. So roll your damage. Okay. And you will end up blowing it off the deck of the ship. Cool. Um, that's, that takes three... First waves, so that's, I think, 11. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so you blast it off the ship. It goes tumbling off the edge, turning into, like, a parasol. Nope, that doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> a stove. Nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all these different objects to see if it can slow its fall. I feel sad for this minute. I feel really bad. If I legitimately, this is going to haunt and me it's for gone. the rest of my <laughs> days. <laughs> <laughs> my dance partner! Can we hear the oh, you were stuck to it. Now, now I would like to say, yeah. I would like to say, I was timing this. But he would have stuck to it. He did say that. So, oh, no. uh, uh, why don't you guys like me? <laughs> <laughs> you can either make a strength or dexterity saving throw. Uh, I'll do dex. That's a plus one. All right. 
Hey, it's a 20. OK. You are able to basically uh, pry yourself loose as it falls off the edge. Okay, and cool. And not pulled down. Woo! Looks <laughs> <laughs> like I just toss it away. Yes. Take <laughs> 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 up the trash! Uh, wait, is, that, wait, is that everyone sad that this is gone? I mean, I grab my gr broom of flying and I say, <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, corpse, you can save the day! <laughs> and, and I try to save, I gr grab my broom of flying and try to save the mimic. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, you go down. Yeah, no Into more need for more tears, friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Corpsey hops on her broom and sails down into the mist. Can I give her a quick telepathic no? <laughs> yes, you totally can. Okay. I'm, right. I'm back up. What? <laughs> <laughs> Your baby needs you. Right, right. Priorities, a new thought. <laughs> Child at a time, right? So, do you abandon the uh, rescue mission and stay with your child? Yes, that, that I'll okay. allow that to convince me. <laughs> <Very good. laughs> that was how we did it. Yeah. The boat. I'll reclaim my uh, immovable rod. Oh, good call. Yes. Can we hear um, how far down this drop is? Like, can we hear mm. the plummet of a mimic bloop? Make a perception check if you want, if you care to. I care. That's why I asked. Um. 17. Ooh. Um, yeah. You hear some splashing splat sound. Yeah. Um, maybe like 150, 200 feet down. Splash or a splat? I'm going to be Little very column A. <laughs> <You fall hard. laughs> so, so there might be water down there. It's more like something in a gelatinous state, basically okay. slammed against something hard. Okay. So no water. That's all I cared about, really. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right, we uh, still sort of trying to play the shove up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's take this ride. Thanks for your patience, cloaked one. Things <laughs> have been really weird today. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a uh, one of them Mondays, you know. <laughs> all right, it can definitely hold all of you and your uh, uh, compatriots. Now the Triceratops is a little big to pack on this thing. Ooh. Oh man. Um. Or you could leave your knife Final behind um, and make a little bit of space. Or you could leave Minsk and Boo behind. Uh, and uh, can, can we ask the ferryman if he'll make two trips? <laughs> 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 we, have, we have thousands of gold too, coins actually. to pay. <laughs> <laughs> gold to pay. I, I, like, I come up with a big handful of coins and be like, would you make two trips? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Give you five stars on Lyft. Yeah. <laughs> Good conversation, clean car. Yeah. Like nice. Only two fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so, yes, after a couple trips, you are all <laughs> delivered onto this big rock. Excellent. Now, on the top, once you are up top, you can see that uh, the dock attaches. The, the metal dock where you are delivered attaches to the stone of this big giant rock that you're on. And you pour out onto this wide stone shelf, which it looks like it's been sort of hewn and worked to kind of flatten it out. And the top of this rock actually has multiple kind of shelves or steps receding back onto it. But uh, between these shelves, there is kind of like a smooth slope, a ramp, that you can follow up onto the heart of this thing, where there is a small mountain rising atop <laughs> uh, this rocky island. And protruding, almost like a prow from the front of this mountain, is a futuristic metal structure. Tall, spire-like, spindle-shaped, uh, smooth, reflective metal spire. Does it look like a laboratory? It very well could be, because uh, you think it's, it's possibly inhabited. It, it's a building of some kind. It's about 300 feet tall. Mm. And sort of toward the back of this <coughs> rocky thing. And it's the, it's the only real structure that you can see at this point from where you are. Uh, do we see any sentries or anything that could be possibly guarding the pathway to the front of the structure? Um, if they are, they're probably really tiny um, standing in front of it. You actually do, when close closely look, see that there are creatures up near to the structure. Um, and 
Uh, you can also make out a figure coming down from the structure toward you. Looks to be humanoid in a robe. I'm going to go ahead and stealth. Okay. Uh, Woo! Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yes, you vanish into the shadows. Same. Same? Okay. Two! <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I get a plus 11, so 13. All right. <laughs> you kind of do a little dance and uh, disappear into what you're Swarm of butterflies. <laughs> Swarm of butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Every time. Every time. <laughs> yeah, uh, probably you think you're well hidden. Uh, <laughs> everybody else is like, yeah, we know. <laughs> uh, what are the rest of you doing as this lone figure descends Are there from any the other um, structures nearby that we could hide behind? And mm. Not much, no. Just to clarify. Except maybe under the docks if you wanted to. Just to clarify. Yeah. One path, guy coming down, yep. guards. Wait, back. I look up and I'm like, oh, I wish we didn't have to deal with this. I do have a wish. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I, say, I wish we didn't have to deal with this to get inside. OK. Uh, you are now, uh, you skip ahead eight encounters. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Okay. Uh, and you now find yourself in a room, uh, d must be deep inside this complex. <laughs> How did this, what? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> How did we? Oh. The baby! <laughs> <laughs> I agree. The is the baby, baby all right? It's just you six. <laughs> oh, the Sphinx is no longer with no. us. Oh my God, the baby. Wait, so Harold has the baby. Right. So the baby's okay. The Sphinx right. also or has Henson. the baby. Or Henson. Henson will take care of the baby. All right. Or his The Sphinx daddy knows how to take artist. care of the baby. Yeah, Sphinx, Sphinx knows, knows, knows all everything. sorts about babies. I'm going to nervous chug both of my healing potions. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good call. I'm, just I'm going yeah. to roll on the potion missability table. Yay! <laughs> I love the indie. <laughs> <laughs> Are they basic healing potions? Are they greater healing potions? Uh, let's say they're greaters. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Calling up the table. Here Would we the go. Would the fair ride have been considered a short rest? Ah, uh, no, <laughs> no. I'm all out of hit dice anyway. There we are. Uh, roll percentile dice for me, Matthew. <laughs> you bet. 41. 41. Uh, one potion chosen at random has the opposite effect. Oh. And, the oh. and the second one does not function. <gasps> oh, my oh. goodness. <laughs> All right, so, so here's what happens, guys. <laughs> All right. It's a very spooky place, but I have complete faith in our ability to survive this if we are prepared. <laughs> so, who's with me? <laughs> <laughs> I am dying. I will, I will, I have cure wounds. I will cast it as a second level spell. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, Max. And almost, oh no, so one, so nine. <laughs> So uh, 12 points are, okay. are restored back. <coughs> Death um, averted. Oh. Death averted. <laughs> I oh, thank you very, very much. <laughs> nice person. You gotta learn to hold your little drink. <laughs> and, <laughs> you me. and I need to learn how to take care of a baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is a good step in the right direction. Uh, you guys, by the way, <laughs> you guys find your way, sir, in, you're kind of in the heart of a maze of damaged controls and broken machinery. Countless wires twist their way across walls, erupting from control panels that have been pulled apart to lay bare their internal components. Uh, but amid all this mess, you see five clear canisters connected by metal tubing and wires align one wall. And each of these canisters can, contains a brain floating in viscid fluid. One of the brains says, telepathically to you, Hi. What are you doing here? 
What kind of accent was that? You guys catch that? <laughs> the football hooligan brain, you know. <laughs> it's all right, though. The adventurers that they told us were coming. What? Oh, that doesn't make any sense. You looking into the future again? Stupid sod. Hi. You're getting bombarded by now telepathic yeah. brain talk. Hi. Sorry, it's kind of a rough entrance. Didn't mean to spook you. Uh, uh, what was our party name again? We're the Mercenaries. We're the Mercenaries. mercenaries yeah, it's, a <laughs> it's a play on words about a guy who almost killed us. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> never prick. Yeah, long story. Not a prick. I loved him. <laughs> <laughs> He's your ex now. You can't. Once again, not mutually exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're here uh, looking for this uh, Qualish guy, and we heard something about brains. So I guess that's you. Um, who are you? We are the enlightened ones, says one of the brains. That's uh, very sure of yourself, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, at this point, uh, they are curious to know more about why you've come. They tell you, uh, they say that uh, they were Qualish's companions. Hmm. Uh, as his companions, did you undergo this uh, rather gruesome transformation of your own accord? After they were killed, uh, he managed to harvest their brains and r basically preserve them. Oh. Where's your master? Well, after promising a means to restore them to their bodies, they tell you, uh, he went off on some escapade and never returned. And since then, a devil has moved into the complex and kind of taken over as Grand Master. Whoa, what can you tell us about this devil? Well, he's back that way. Uh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he that guy on the is road? This a, is this a literal devil? Uh, yeah, they're pretty sure he's a literal devil. Um, Which but, type? But you, buy, you basically <laughs> skip past him. Uh, a bone <laughs> devil. Yeah. Wearing a robe made of the faces of all the people who he, he's flayed. Oh, like, oh, I'm so glad we skipped over that. Yeah. Maybe he's bone. Oh. So, but the brains, basically, they tell you that they control the functioning of the mechanical systems in this complex. Oh, do me! And I, and I put my, like, hand inside a wall. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Do we even mean in this context? <laughs> she just wants to be understood the way that she understands everything else. Yeah, right. Insert uh, slot A into yeah. tab B. Uh, so just so trying to love 13. everything. 13? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Grease lightning. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, you take 42 points of lightning damage. 42? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, how many hit points did you have? 21. 21. Yeah. Oh. oh! No, I mean, not, that's not my that's max not your hit point. No, okay. no. Right, okay. No. So, yes, uh, she, she then just sort of um, uh, is now kind of welded. <laughs> to the wall. Uh, oh. can, can we hold down her power button and like the center button for five <laughs> seconds and reboot? That's a paramedic roll. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a medicine roll. Uh, oh no, a corpsey. Can I give her a good berry? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean like orally. I'm going to just jam it into her chest like everything else. Because that's how she eats, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Good berry is some euphemism, I'm no. sure. I mean, yeah, that's a, really. It's a whole discussion about the different methods of delivering a good berry. It's <laughs> not oral. It's any oral. It <laughs> suppository. You can push yes. past the butterflies. <laughs> yes, yes it's, a, it's a good berry suppository. Um, <laughs> so you're just going to try to like pop it in her. Yeah. Eat it. Come on. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. And she's not conscious, so she's like. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you might have to pre-chew it for her. Is there like a crank to like make her chew? Sure. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. So, so what's the effect of the good berry after? Uh, a good berry, I believe, just heals you one hit point. Okay, I think you're right. Uh, so you awaken 
uh, fused to the wall. <laughs> okay. With your little gnome friend beside you. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Turning your crank. Hanging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because I'm so tired. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh wow. <laughs> All right, brainy boys. That was tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brainy boys. Uh, and you can feel like you've sort of burnt out this section of wall. Oh. Well. <laughs> Some sparks go. Or maybe on, maybe don't do that again. Sure. Or we do it to every wall. <laughs> Never mind. That's we a don't terrible have idea. Idea. <laughs> <laughs> idea. Um, I do have one more rare magic item on yes. as yet undefined. Ooh. Oh. Uh, it, in this empire of weirdity, is there anything just laying on a table? that one might use to somehow <coughs> deal with or preserve or heal disembodied brains? I'm looking for um, any sort of healing thing. Uh, just make a investigation or, or perception if you prefer as you look around seeing for any, anything that could be salvaged and put to use. No. <laughs> Not good. Oh, okay. Um, to drink out of the brain jug. <laughs> you know? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's that taste like? Is that good? Yeah. You drink some ancient cerebral fluid <laughs> and then sort of wander off in a daze uh. <laughs> um, down sort of a maze of corridors uh, until you come to a small office where apparently I am sitting behind a desk. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, can I help you? <laughs> I was promised a rare magic item. <laughs> <laughs> I will open up my desk drawer and find you one. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how this game is. <laughs> Major spoilers for this, yeah. <laughs> wow. this module, guys. Um, while he wanders off and, and, <laughs> and meets me, what are the rest of you up to? And uh, I'm sorry, you said it was a rare item, Patrick? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get down so to business and ask the brains if they know where Koalish went. Uh, they think yeah. he might have gone through a gateway of his own creation. Is it perhaps uh, where maybe the city of glass people resides? Maybe. And the gateway was created in his little throne room, Central Nexus, which the Grand Master, the Devil, is currently occupying. So, uh, do you all know where that uh, uh, lobster ship of Koalish's is? Oh, yeah, that's, that's in the vault, <laughs> in the treasury. Can you tell us where this is, place is? Is, <laughs> that, is? is that via the master boss fight? <laughs> if we can find your boss and get Koalish back here, which we're looking for him anyway, that means he should have the means of restoring your bodies, and as such, we are allies. Come on, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, it's easy. Okay. Uh, since. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> that's that's the peak. Now. <laughs> okay, it's all downhill from here. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm still looking for a uh, rare item. Uh, hey, look at that. I'd like to take my hand, or just like kind of re retract my hand, and, and it, maybe it's still la uh, <laughs> in the wall a little. It comes off with this whole section oh, of wall. Oh, it does? It. Yeah. Oh, perfect. So you've got like a shield <laughs> now. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna like manifest something, uh, attach something else to me, but I think this is better. Okay, yeah, you just got this bangy shield. Thing <laughs> yeah. It's jagged around the edges too, so you could probably impale somebody on it if you really so wanted to. I'd like to ask the brains one more question. Absolutely. Um, using my, um, my keen mind, I'd like to be able to read my own handwriting from earlier in the adventure and find <laughs> out about a machine of Lum the Mad. Am I reading this? Oh, right, yeah. You are, yes. Okay. Uh, they don't know what Qualish did with that. Well, okay then. Mm. Uh, but he probably kept a record of it in his journal, which is also in the treasury. So behind you, gateway with devil, and they can tell you where the treasury is and how to get there. 
Well, let's do that. All right. Well, which is not that direction. Correct. Mm. Let's go ahead and find our, our wandering brain drinking friend. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll do that first. We go over and try and find, uh, find our buddy Bartholomew. Would you like a cloak of displacement? Yeah. <laughs> Done. Yay. Hey, we're going back to... Oh, hey, who is this guy? Hi, what's your name? Hello. Hello. I'm Chris. I work at Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> <laughs> I, far from the coast here. This is, uh, this is pretty landlocked. Yeah, I'm not sure how I got here, but apparently it was... That's okay, neither are we. <laughs> <laughs> apparently it was like a $25 trip. <laughs> <laughs> Can I cast a suggestion on Chris Perkins? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say, wow, you know, it's, it's really hard to get around here. Uh, you would, it would probably help us both uh, if you were to aid us in finding a way to escape. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> At least that roll. Oh God. Four d six and take the best three. That will be my wisdom. <laughs> Are you sure you want me to be rolling these? Yeah. I'm the worst type. You said the four best or the four worst? The best. Roll four and take the best three. Oh, that's not too bad. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And plus two. Twelve. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, I will. I will uh, go over to a wall, push some buttons, and open up a. Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> 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 and suddenly, sort of, the walls part, and this, cor this triangular corridor forms ahead of you, and lights just sort of flick on ten feet at a time, all the way down its length, to a set of to a triangular set of doors at the far end. Fantastic! Is that to the vault? Yeah. Sweet. Come on. Great. Yeah. Let's go. Le lead on. Can you I will also tell us of the how wizards? to kill the devil? <laughs> oh yeah! If you want to kill the devil, I have a statistics right here. <laughs> 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 it's a bone devil. Yeah, I read the adventure. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't type. What's a boba devil? I don't know. Okay. Boba devil. Boba devil. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, bone devils are uh, CR9. So, Ooh. you know, What's that they mean? have 142 hit points and an arm class of 19, which is pretty bitchin'. Mm. Uh, Jeez. They can see in magical darkness, they're magically resistant. Magically delicious, uh, <laughs> and they make claw and sting attacks. Their sting attack yeah, is nasty, nasty. nasty. And this particular one is wearing a robe of faces because that's a thing hmm. with him. What's a hit point? <laughs> 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 I, I followed the vault thing. I like the vault. Let's go to the vault. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. Fire and poison. Ooh. Good to okay. know. Mm. Yep. <coughs> and right. uh, yeah, and if you don't have magical weapons, what you know. That can also be frustrating. <laughs> uh, but I will lead you down the end of the corridor, and uh, again, more buttons. Doot, 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 doot. Open the doors at the far end. Real uh, nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beyond that, you see we're outside again. We've come out the back side of the mountain, and there is a, a rocky slope <laughs> down to a hole through the heart of this rocky island. This hole is big. It's about 200 yards across. And there is a floating diamond-shaped black spindle in the middle of it, and ten disks of magical energy, like tensors floating disks, spaced out five feet apart, forming a bridge to it. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, not a complete bridge, because it's got the gaps in between the disks. So ten of these force disks to get across. And then I will point and say, that is the way across, at which point Strix <laughs> on her broom, <laughs> flies overhead and hits us all with a third fireball. <laughs> uh, only to have Aren't it. Are we inside? No, we're outside. We're just outside. Uh, we're in the entrance, back uh, leading back outside. <laughs> only to have Small Bee appear in a puff of smoke, <laughs> counter the spell, and make nothing happen. <laughs> <laughs> Small Bee! Thank, thank you. This would have killed me. 
<laughs> and if I die, I'm just leaving. <laughs> Swabby, tell Matt Mercer I'm taken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, so you've got these disks of energy between you and the vault entrance, which is a sealed doorway flush with the side of the spindle. When you say flush, it's like sheer? Yeah. You can just, it's a slightly different color, so you can tell by its shape that it's a door. Um, but there's nothing to grab onto. How far could well, like go wrong? Question. I run straight towards it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right. Um, doop -a -doop -a -doop. Running across the discs. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is not hard, except for the fact that the. Okay. So, bung, bung, bung. And as you're about to leap onto the fourth disc, it disappears. Hmm? Immovable rod. <laughs> you're now hanging. I'm like, I found the one that, <laughs> that goes away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, it was the third disc that went away. Okay. Are the, are the ones still present that he stepped yeah. on? Yeah. Okay. And I'll be like, <laughs> I have I'm a flying broom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep running. Okay. Then you run. Dung, 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 dung. When you get to the ninth one, or it disappears just before you land on it. I've got. The immovable ten foot pole. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. No! Oh, no! oh my gosh. Uh, because you are now in an anti magic field. Uh, so <laughs> suddenly he just holds the pole out and then disappears from you. <laughs> what? No. Chris, you could have told Wait us again. something about this. You read the whole adventure. I just read that now. <laughs> <laughs> Stick. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Uh, um, can I fly with my? Can I see him at all? <laughs> he seems sort of tumbling down. Oh. I want to race with my broom of flying to it catch him. It was gonna him. look so cool. <laughs> <laughs> While she's doing that, I'm attempting to pickpocket the adventure from Chris. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got it. No, my bonus oh. is. Oh, that's terrible. I rolled a natural one. Oh. 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 oh wait, I've got one more reroll. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go on. Oh. Nine. Twenty-one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Thank you, reroll. <laughs> well, I was just, I was just curious. Yeah. Just curious. I, uh, I will throw my laptop over the edge. <laughs> Forget the board. Go for the laptop. <laughs> I'll go for the laptop, I guess. Okay. Open to suggestions. I'm, I'm just, I'm saying the command word over and over as I fall. <laughs> At some point, it does. With kick different in. inflections. Yes. It, you're, 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 you get out of the area eventually, and then suddenly kicks in, and then. <laughs> I need you to make a strength saving throw. Yeah. To hang no. on with the suddenness and the velocity with which uh -huh. you are stopping. Is high good? Yes. Oh, always. <laughs> Then 16. Okay, you managed to hang on. Doom, doom. You're, you're about, a, you're about 100 feet below the, the spindle um, in the shaft of the rock. Shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just go from... Shaft to flash. Yes. Yes. Shaft. Oh. Wow. I was just thinking. I don't know. Sorry. I'm getting out of character. Getting out of character. Um. I just. It just occurred to me that you do look a lot like Brian Blessed. I mean, with the. Hawkman dies. <laughs> that should have been your voice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, next year. Next year. Next year. Yeah. Flash Gordon's alive. <laughs> Gordon's alive. Halloween oh my god. Set. So good. So good. Anyway, um, you're going down to get my laptop. <laughs> yes. Anti magic field. Okay. 
Uh, so the laptop spirals down into the mist. You're racing now and after it. Just make a perception check to see if you can keep tracking it through the mist. Uh, so, uh, 18. Okay, yes. And make a, let's call it a dexterity check to catch it. E. Ooh, yep. Uh, 8, 19. Yeah, you catch it. Yeah. Yeah. I got it! <laughs> Now go get the bard! <laughs> uh. Yes, sir! Saving the babies. Uh, <laughs> babies. Uh, yeah, so he, he's yeah. just hanging there, right? Yeah, it Can is. two people, people fit on my broom? Uh. Oh, yeah, we'll see. Hop on! It's safe as can be! <laughs> are you still greased up? <laughs> <laughs> Whose side are you on? <laughs> <laughs> this side! <laughs> All right, deactivate. Disengage your, that? Yeah. Okay, the broom goes like all the way. Yeah, you're dropping the two of you. It's too much weight. Um, I Ooh. turn into a spider real quick. Um, and, and okay, okay, you're a spider. And I'm I'm I want to be like uh, yeah on the broom. Okay, little spider on the broom. <laughs> now the weight isn't a problem. Okay, it stops falling. Can you still drive oh. it like this? You know how to fly a broom. So. But you're not carrying the laptop in spider form. <gasps> no. no! <laughs> No, 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 wait, 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 shape, wait, I get I everything that I have on me. You have that choice. Yes. I, I choose it. Okay. I choose the whole. <laughs> oh, God. I choose. I choose the laptop. <laughs> you absorb my laptop into your body. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. Yes. Very good. It's now part of my. You equipment. sail back to your friends, and do you assume your normal form when you return? Yes. Yes. Somehow my laptop has fused itself into your body, <laughs> as your new docent. The adventure's in my chest! <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, what, what's the password? No. <laughs> I don't tell you. Try TBK 2018! That <laughs> <laughs> <It> works! <laughs> okay, so you are in the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try and investigate for any sort of items that, well, first off, how to get into the vault. Okay. An item in the vault that can be used to rapidly destroy the devil. Done and done. <laughs> Easy. All right. Uh, yes, and you also uh, discover that there, uh, so you, uh, you figure out how to get into the vault. And, you know, I'm not going to tell you, so I don't want to spoil the adventure. Oh, yeah. Ooh, so uh, you get into the vault. You find uh, Qualish's journal, uh, which has the secret of how he, uh, you, how he basically opened the gate inside his laboratory. There's all of his treasure and gems, gold stuff, other things he collected, magic items, a manual of golems, which is kind of a nice little prize. And then, uh, <laughs> yes, this big ass suit of powered armor standing there. Oh, you don't need to do that. I have a bag of holding. Oh. <laughs> <I'm> okay. <laughs> I do not need things. <gasps> <laughs> but you have to hold it. Uh, how, like, how, what sort of person would fit in this power armor? You. Um, it, it, it's, uh, it looks basically human-esque in shape. So, like, a, a gnome might have a problem, but it could be magical, in which what case it might frog? resize. Would this power oh. armor be the machine of Lum? How am I writing? Lum the Mad? Uh, no, but as you're flipping through Qualish's journal, you <laughs> can see that there is a picture of the machine of Lum the Mad, and also little arrows pointing to various levers and buttons on it, mm. telling you what they do or what they might do. Mm. Um, it also tells you that uh, it's, it's in another place in his laboratory. He basically oh. incorporated it into his laboratory. Uh, you can get to that place you're without You're really hurt, the aren't you? Um, Would you like to be I, in I the armor? I actually do have one hit one point. One hit point? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a level three cure wounds on you, because I can do that as a celestial Ooh. warlock. Ooh, <laughs> warlock. Uh, that'll be... Uh, 18 hit points you have. Ooh, awesome. Nice. 19, thank you. Can we um, find where in the adventure it says where the uh, Lum the Mad is? Machine yes. of Lum the Mad? Yeah. Uh, make a, also make an insight check. Perfect. All of us? Yeah, yeah, oh. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Anybody who wants to can. All of us. Mm. Yes. 
Fourteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. You discover as you're going through and checking the adventure for all the secrets and, and ways to sort of get around everything that you can actually edit it. Oh, let's just delete this, the phone devil. Delete. Well, let, well let, can we put something in its place? A kitten. <laughs> A hundred kittens. A hundred kittens. There are now six sets of power armor. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you just, you just put X6 yeah. after the item <laughs> description. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we're going to stop. <laughs> well done, Chris! Yeah. Oh my God. So thank you everyone for sticking out for the evening, and thank you all. We raised $8,247. This, this marks the conclusion of our game hole extra life extravaganza. Um, all, of, all of these games that we've been running um, for extra life, uh, raising money for a great cause. Thank you to everybody who made donations in this room and beyond. And thank you all for joining us in the flesh. I know this room is very warm <laughs> right now. Made all the warmer by the hysterical laughter. Uh, so I hope everybody has a, a great rest of their show while they're here and you know maybe we'll do this again sometime <laughs> <laughs>